What up guys, your man MPR. Short little introduction to say that the upcoming video is for the 2v2 Battle Rite Tournament which took place on Friday the 7th of October. This was my first time casting a Battle Rite Tournament or any tournament of any kind, so if you have any negative or positive feedback please leave it in the comment section below. Something we will work on better next time is knowing the teams and getting all the brackets sorted. The NA1 will be up also later today, so enjoy! So it looks like we're going to be seeing the mighty uh, Shifu and Jade. Deadly combo, and we're going to see Baku, my man, probably my favorite champion in game, and also, you ready oh yeah, who's a quite an interesting champion, like, I don't really know what I think of her, she, she's quite in mobile, once she gets her ultimate, I think she can be really strong, we have no other option but to watch, I believe, uh, we can't actually change champions at the moment, I believe we might be able to uh, free roam though, uh, we'll give it a little play around. Well, we've lost... Okay, they're coming in, they're coming in, here we go. Bear with me whilst I get used to these camera settings, it's all a little bit new to me. But we'll see what we can get up to. So coming in, there's a big 2v2, so they've decided to not go for any supports here, which is an interesting part in play, just going for the damage. I'm a big fan of Jade. She can get some nice poke down. We haven't actually used her, see it burn her stun just yet. I don't know if we can, if we move... I can't seem to actually move my camera, we're locked on. So free roam, that kind of sucks. Let's see if we can uh, orbit onto one target. Blue team actually do pick up mid orb there, which is huge. I mean, picking up the orb uh, straight away can be a, a big buff for your team. Yeah, it's a nice poke. Their ultimates are charging up. But this is like the red team are going to be picking up their ultimates a little bit sooner, but some nice damage coming in on the Tateo right there. Jade is running a bit low. She does pop half her ultimate to knock him away. Mid orb is back up, and it looks like we're going to be able to switch and focus. Tateo is running really low right here. Jade does miss a spell block, and nice pick up by Shifu. Baku, nice stun, really nice stun. He's gonna go, oh, what a juke, what a juke, beautiful play. She unleashes her ultimate and <laughs> gets picked up. Wow, how Baku escaped from that, I do not know. Very nice, very nice. With a 2v1 right now, I honestly thought the blue team were turning that then. Beautiful javelin toss. Can Shifu juke this out? We have two green orbs on the left hand side. It looks like Tez gonna be able to pick up quite easily. Oh, what a juke that was. Wow, I really honestly thought Jade had pulled that off when she went. Once you popped a cloak to juke up Baku's ultimate, I thought that was it. Oh, beautiful, nice ultimate. I got a very nice knock away. Mid orb is up. Uh, she is literally seconds away from getting a roll. Unfortunately, Shifu does miss out on the steal there. We're going to be entering sudden death. I think mean, Shifu might be able to pull this off. She hasn't got her ultimate just yet. He does miss his javelin toss. And he's coming, beautiful. Well played. Well played. Blue team picking up a round one right there. GG. Very nice. Oh, that was, it was a really nice play. I honestly felt that Jade made a really nice play when once she popped her cloak. Then I thought she she <laughs> cheeking out Baku's ultimate, but unfortunately um, she was still picked up. But yeah, n nice two, nice two v one there. So we're going to see Jade she, for her stun ability. She's going to be taken through the shadows, and also uh, we're going to miss out on the other one. She, she's focusing on her style for more this game. Interesting to see how that plays out. I quite like uh, personally taking the uh, the Sabina shot, which gives you 12 additional rounds. But she's gone for more of the style fruit here. Jade has already done the 50% health. Nice damage coming in by Taya. A good counter by Shifu. Mid orb is up. It looks like Red Team might be able to pick this off. One thing you can watch also, yeah, they do pick it up, is that with Jade, uh, once it gets under 32 health, she can easily pull off a nice snipe. So something to something to watch out, especially as it can actually go through you unless you block it. Looks like the Red Team is going to pick up this round. As both the Blue Team are running really low, it's going to take a big turn around here. Also with the Red Team already picking up the orb, Tails already got her ultimate. And GG, nice. Nice turn around by the red team, and I think that's the importance of picking up that middle orb so so early on. They were able to get their ultimates. Taya jumps on a mount, boomerang them all down to death, and you know, well played. A nice skill on Baku. I, I love that. Uh, I love his armor he's wearing. Really cool. That's gonna take us to one apiece. It's looking pretty tight at the moment. It really could go either way. It depends. Like I feel. With Baku, if he can get some big counter off, it could be nice. It's whoever's going to get that initial burst down, and also again picking up that middle orb. If they can poke them out early on enough, which the red team did really well in the last round, and we'll see how they pick up here. But a nice stun onto Shifu. Baku does Misa's leap, putting some big damn da damage down. 
Mid Orm is two seconds from spawning. Who's going to be able to secure it this time with the Jade Flip and Overgun onto Taya? Shifu is running really low, and again, the red team pick up the Orb here. Looks like Shifu's going to be going down. He does get a nice counter, but only under the 20% health. I don't think he's got much chance here. He's running to the top side. He's going to pick just misses out on the green orbs. I don't think he would have made much much of a difference here. Baku gets a nice ultimate onto Jade. She does unleash her ultimate, but GG, well played. So the red team really turned this around here. At the, um, at the start, I thought the blue team were looking pretty good, but a good swing. Once again, I, I say the importance of the blue orb here, or the middle orb, sorry. With the red team picking it up, and Sh Shifu just took so much damage. He, he dropped to like 20% health trying to secure that orb. It's just a risky, it's a risky business. So the blue team potentially can still pull this back for sure. They have enough damage in their in their comp, and we'll see what happens. Red team commanding the middle lane at the moment. Aku goes in for a nice jump, but it does miss it. Shifu making some nice counter play here, but again, Jade's already under 50% health. Looks like Blue Team Blue Team did actually pick up the orb this time, but with Jade going to be picking up... Actually, oh, down. I mean, Shifu's going to need some bi something big to turn this around here, as Taylor calls in a little mount. I would really like to see uh, one thing it doesn't have at the moment, maybe it's something I work on, is that when she does call in her mount, it's the mount she uses. I'd love to see her like running around on the goblin the goblin pro mount would be pretty cool. She's running around, chucking out her boomerangs on top of that. And GG, well, he did, just, GG. Nice pick up by the red team. Well played. So they, they are going to be moving on into next round. Obviously, uh, the fact the blue team pulled a really nice first round victory off there, but with this game, you never know what's going to happen, and the red team really turn it around. So, GG, our first up victors of today. There's some big damage coming in by Taya. The thing with the Baku, I think he's really good at being able to push targets away from his allies, and obviously worked really well there, and it was nice to see. So, we'll wait and see what happens. We're going to be moving on to game two. I'm just going to have to wait and see who we're going to be casting next. But that was big play. I, I really liked the, um, the Taeyeon really made good use of her abilities and she threw out some big damage and the, the, the thing I felt worked, worked really well for the red team is I think on every round maybe by the first round they were able to pick up that middle wall which allowed them to get their ultimates with her picking up the uh, her mount which just gives her that additional speed and was able to easily just run around her run around, especially when uh, Shifu went in originally he just took a massive chunk out of his HP for that, so, um, yeah, GG. If you're interested, if we see some Croak later on, I'm looking towards some, maybe some older. I've seen some good olders in solo queue, so, Mr. Longneck, as I like to call him. Hopefully, we'll see someone pick him up as we go through later on to tonight. Even some Baku. I really, I'm really liking the look of Asuka. I haven't played him too much myself, but I think the damage he can put down is going to be um, interesting. And this, also, if we do see some uh, support combos this game with the likes of Paloma, even Pearl, I, I think Pearl can be deadly. But maybe with it just being 2v2, the teams are going to opt to not pick a support and just go straight damage as we as we saw then. Which, in a 2v2 where it's just pure damage... Is there a bracket? I will try and... Give me give me one minute, buddy. I will try and see if I can find a um, bracket for you. I know that there is a bracket, but I don't know if it actually um, physically updates. I will try and um, find out. Bear with me. I uh, find uh, this the website that it's running off is uh, Play Turn Play Tourney. They're the guys that have uh, set everything up. It's currently in beta. Uh, they're the guys who have set it all up. I will. You do need to register uh, if you want to actually view anything on the website. But I will see if I can find a bracket. Bear with me. So yeah, really nice round. I honestly felt that the um, the red team were going to uh, the blue team even were going to pull that off. Hopefully, I'm going to see some my man Varus. I think he he really offers some strong counterplay. So it'd be interesting to see if someone brings him out. I think there's so many. Cha I am looking forward. To there's supposedly two new champions that are going to be coming out of the end of this month. I'm not too sure. I, I never actually played Bloodline Champions myself, so um, potentially they're going to be able to carry a lot of the champions and data. There was a capture the flag from what I heard on that, actually, 
on, on that game mode, so it be interesting to see if they bring that over, which would be really cool. What a name. You guys are certainly uh, creative with the names. I really like the uh, system they actually have on the moment with the, with the replays, being able to watch replays and create your own replays is really cool. Hopefully something more will come out. It's a bit basic at the moment, so um, I like... The, if you go on to the replays at the moment, they're still the ones from like 10 days ago, so hopefully they're Work on an update and that. Yeah, alright. Okay. I'm really looking okay. forward to yeah. actually seeing some croak as well. Cheers for the follow, boss. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So we've added him. The question is when will he accept? Big long way. Really liking the look of Freya. As someone who haven't actually put enough game time into the moment. My main my main champion is really a Baku. I think he's a solid champion. Has a strong kit with the leap and the charges, and obviously being able to reflect in cover ability, especially against like Jade's a big hanner. I love Jade. She's first trying to hit level 10. Really enjoying Varus at the moment, and also Rook. He's all fish. <laughs> uh, I'm really looking forward to see what actually cosmetics they throw out in the game like, at the moment. Like a, a lot of the stuff is kind of just like a skin overlay, so it'd be cool to see. Um, like, sure, his like legendary weapon's pretty cool, but like some of the stuff is just a bit basic at the moment. But I think the content for an early access game, they've got a good amount of content, so uh, it'd be interesting to see. You know, especially once we enter free to play. Um, potentially could be bugged. I, I could do, uh, bear with me, I'll restart my uh, game quickly. Good old Barrier. I think with Barrier at the moment it is a little bit buggy. It is a bit buggy. But it's early access, so. You gotta expect these things. Actually, I thought the day would never come where I had like I had no qu no quests, and I'm now fully actually stacked up on quests. I never I thought the day would actually never um never come. So it doesn't look like the. Okay, here we go. Sweet. Happy days, so we're going to be jumping into game number two. Nice. See what we can, see what these guys, mad skills they're going to be putting out. they got some cool icons, I like the little Halloween ones. Hopefully, you know, or I, maybe we might not see anything, but hopefully we maybe see some like Halloween skins that'd be really cool. And Christmas ones going on. That's why I'm quite excited, I've been playing a lot of Paragon. I'm excited to see what uh, Halloween skins they start putting out for that. If they do any, I'm not sure. But it'd be cool, like, so maybe like a Halloween theme mapped. But maybe we're just too early in to better for the moment. So we are going to be, I really like the, the moment, the amount of maps. I think there's about five or six maps. Nice sort of variety. I, I originally, when I thought picking up the game, there's only going to be one map. Which, you no, know, I don't know, I can't be happy with. I have to play in League with freaking... Six years playing on Summoner's Rift, God knows how many times. <laughs> you get used to playing on the same map. I'd really like to see Capture the Flag, that would, uh, that would be glorious. What teams are playing at the moment? I do not know the team's names. I, 
I'm not 100 sure. There's so many teams. Like we don't have. I don't have actually have any like sort of sheet to go off of. I have the Play Tawny website. Uh, you can you can check the website. Uh, this is the link here. Um, you do need to make an account to view it. But I don't know the teams that are actually play. And like you could you'd have to go through each individual team to find the players. Unless they message in chat, we can ask them to message in chat next round, and they can tell us a name. But Otherwise, I'm not sure who's actually going to be playing in the, um, which team will it be. So we're actually going to see two supports this round. Really nice. We're going to be seeing Pearl and Croak on the red team and Shifu and Cirrus on the blue team. So this is actually going to be really interesting. I think both supports are really strong. I think the supports in general in this game are really, really strong. You don't, you don't really want to underestimate them. And you spend so long, like, when, especially in, like, 2v2s, um... Yeah, it's something, uh, something maybe we'll work on. Like, this. literally, this is the first tournament I've done with these guys, and it's the first tournament I've cast on Battle Right. So it's all a bit new to me. Uh, if all things go well, I, they had one last week, and we're probably going to see one again next week. And if everything goes well, we'll see ones in the future. So it's something I'll work on. I'll speak to the guys involved, and we can get something sorted out. So we're going to see a big battle actually going here between Shifu and Croak. And this is what I'm talking about is where you have the split focus. Pearl getting a, he's getting a really nice sexual petrify on her then. And they're going to, oh wow, sneaky Pearl being petrified for about three seconds there. But coming out in the right time to actually secure the middle orb. Again, I say the importance of middle orb I think is huge. Another good petrify coming out by Sirius right here. Let's Croak, they're battling out. He is going to be able to pick up the orbs here. It's going to be interesting to see because the last game, well, Croak does actually land a nice deadly win him there and that's going to drop Sirius under about half health here. He's going to be able to pull onto the outside and start healing up. But the blue team do find to secure the uh, middle orb and pop their ultimates down. And we're going to be right. in an interesting battle right now with both teams dropping under about 50% health. Pearl is at full at the moment. Croak is running a bit low. This is quite an interesting battle we got in here. I like the fact that we're actually going to see two supports and two melee champions as well. But it looks like the red team are coming on top at the moment. There are two green orbs up on the top side. And the red team, once again, for the second time this match, secured the middle orb. It has allowed for Croak to pick up Den Venom. It does that. Uh, he has picked off one here. And that is a good good job. Well played the red team. And this is, again, the importance I was saying of um, picking up. Welcome for you guys that are joining right now we're still in round one i believe i still believe we're in round one i'm a bit confused i i'm, I'm a bit sort of alien to what's going on i'm just trying to do the commentator and i hope you guys enjoy uh, if you have any questions about the game i will try my best to answer i feel like i've got a, a reasonable knowledge um or any suggestions you want with the camera this is pretty new new to me to uh, cast and battle right so i'm trying Trying to go as a, uh, trying to work it as we go along, but really nice pickup by the red team, and, and again the importance of picking up the red orb, the, the, oh the middle orb, sorry, the, the red team picked it up twice that round, and uh, it was deadly. I think Craig's a really strong champion if played right, especially in free free, because people kind of forget about him. You, know, you do see a lot of bad Craig's in Soda Cube, but when you see a good one who actually maximizes stuff, the fact that he can go camouflage for like two seconds, come out of camouflage, and land a deadly uh, a deadly stun, and also get a few auto attacks in like during that time is huge. So it looks like the red team is on the aggression here. They have actually split. Pearl is going to be coming up to the top side to join up with a friendly Croak. As again, Shifu lands a Cyrus even lands another good Petrify. Blue or middle orb is up. We'll see what teams are able to pick it up. The teams aren't too interested. Red team is going for it. Blue team with a very nice Cyrus actually is able to pick it up this time. A good Petrifier again. He is actually on point with these. But Croak is going ham. He gets a nice deadly win and win strike. It's not going to be enough to finish him off just yet. It looks like the red team are in a commanding position again. He does actually miss his stun from Camouflage here. Middle Orb has picked up and Blue Team securing that this time, so one apiece. Ultimates are about 10% off from the Blue Team and Red Team are just a little bit off, but it does look like the Red Team are in a commanded position as Pearl is heating up a friendly croak. Cyrus comes in with his ultimate, but I think his chopping wind isn't going to be able to do enough just here. Cyrus' ultimate is only able to heat him a tad. We're coming down to the cut and wire. 40 seconds away from sudden death just yet and the blue team once again picking up the orb they are really turned this around the red team had a commanding start but the blue team have pulled this back right here as they're picking up the orbs on the outside of the map green orb still on the top side if he does miss his javelin toss here and looks like they may have to pick this up here then really nice conjure ability turning around a deadly petrify croak does actually able to jump out of it as they probably for probably for the worst actually jumping out of that then as he's left on his own and they are able to pick him up he might have been worthwhile actually staying in the petrify then so that 
But they would have to have uh, broke the shield to release him there. I give full credit to Cyrus, he's been really on point with his uh, really on point with his petrifies here. Uh, to, to see the teams, uh, you need to go to play tourney. I'm, yeah, someone's linked already. I'm not sure the exact ranks of everyone. I believe you can find the ranks of the players. Uh, but I don't really actually have anything in front of me to give to you bar just saying check out the play tourney website that everyone's linking at the moment. But what a comeback! I, I really thought the blue time, the blue team were, were in big problems there, especially after losing that first orb. And we're now entering sudden death. It doesn't look like Pearl's really going to have much of a chance here. For sure, I think Pearl could turn it around if there was a big... Or oh, I think it in this situation for it to be turned around, there would have to be a big cock up. But you never know. She has lost it. She has lost a middle orb here. And good job. What a, what a comeback right there. And this is what I love about the game. That was, that was a really nice turnaround. Uh, yeah, I think you have to, uh, to go to the tournaments tab. It is like in beta at the moment. They're still testing things out. Um, and I believe, yeah, you do have to actually create an account if you don't have one to sign in. If you have any comments about the website, I'm more than happy to post onto the guys. Um, I can actually look at, yeah, I will, what I will do after this game, I'll bring it up on stream and um, we can have a look at things. I'm still pretty new to the website, um, so I'll have to have a play around with it myself. But we'll see what we can actually find out what's going on. We're still in round one at the moment, so um, yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Once there's round two, the bracket should update, supposedly. Uh, yeah, really good shot, but I honestly thought the red team myself were in big trouble here as the middle orb spawns up once again and the red team just sneaked out them. Um, see, the red team seemed to be shaking a little bit after that blue team's big burst coming out. I feel I feel Cyrus can cause some big damage with Craig, especially if he's able to charge off his auto attack ability to get that weaken. If you can time at the right time with your teammates, that weaken can cause some big damage. That's why I really like champions like... Um, Rook, the ones who can actually shred armor is massive. So Shifu actually pops his ultimate early here, putting up some nice damage onto Crow, because it looks like and Pearl does miss Jaws here. That's that's a big ultimate to waste right there, as it looks like the blue team has taken some command of this matchup right here. The red team really shaken after the first round. A big anticipate onto Crow here, they've really whittled them down. I can't see the blue team losing this right now. It looks like Cirrus is actually pulling back. They do once again secure the middle orb and are going to pick up on the outer orbs on the outside of the arena. Cyrus is only seconds away from getting his ultimate again. Croak does enter camouflage, but I don't think it's going to be enough to survive this onslaught that is happening here. Another ultimate coming in by Sara, Cirrus, Shifu even. Really well played. I think it's only a matter of time now before we see the blue team pick this one, pick this up. Yeah, I will pass on your comments about uh, not logging in to um, have to actually view it. Uh, literally, the, I think the website is pretty new to themselves. As I say, it's currently in beta and it's something they're testing out. So um, I will pass on your feedback to the guy, uh, the two guys that um, made the website. Really nice time. Wow, I, I honestly can't believe that the blue team have been able to turn this around. I really thought they were going to be in trouble after that first round. But again, I, I really think the importance of picking up those middle orbs is huge. So GG, really nice, we're getting some interesting games already, it's um, pretty tense stuff. Coming into round 4 then, will the red team be able to um, sort this out? Blue team already taking control of the middle arena as they're starting to pan down on Croak. He's used all his escapes now. His camouflage down. We are a little bit split here. Put some nice damage down onto Pearl. He does miss his conjure ability. Middle orb has spawned with a petrify under Pearl. I can't see Blue team losing this one. But nice and pair by Shifu. GG. I really can't see the red team turn us around here. Shifu does actually waste his full charge there and is a little bit split from Cyrus. As they both go in, Croak has split from his own teammate, and once again, a very nice dodge by Pearl this time. Cyrus has been really on point with his... Middle Orb is up, and once again, wow. Blue team being able to secure that with about two health on that orb right there. Again, another big ultimate. GG, I really, I think this is going to be um, very well played by the uh, red team here. Blue team, sorry. Another big ultimate. And 
blue team once again picking up the third third orb this game. We saw the red team take a commanding lead in the first matchup, and I really didn't see the blue team being able to pull this back, but it looks like they've kind of whitewashed them here. Even though Croak has got a nice ultimate down, but I don't think it's going to be enough to finish off these two. As Pearl's currently under 30% health right now, but the teams are running pretty even. Another big ultimate coming in from Shifu, chopping her down, and GG. The Croak's going to have to pull out something magical here to turn this around. He's about 60% off from getting his ultimate up, so I can't really see him picking anything up. Mid orb is about to spawn, so if anything, this will be his chance. But another another missed javelin toss it will allow him to get into the orb, but he is weak and taking a big pound in here. We have entered sudden death, and GG, well played by the blue team here to actually turn this around. I will, okay, so we'll have a quick look. I'm not 100% sure how to actually do the website work, so... Um, I will try and open up the website now and we'll see if we can uh, have a look what's going on. GG, that was um, really well. I, I'm um, quite amazed. <laughs> I thought I thought the red team actually uh, had that going then. Uh, well, it wasn't that, I, could, I couldn't keep up with it. So I'm not sure what game we have. I will try and I will try and see if I can. I'm gonna have a quick look now and see what the uh, situation. It looks like we might be jumping into another game right now, so I might not be able to just get the uh, tournament. But I'll have a look right now. I'll log into the account and see if we can find the uh, brackets for the um, games. But, uh, what a turnaround! I really felt that <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a bit of a whitewash, but I think that's the nice thing in this game. They they like, must have got tilted or something, and it was um, GG. So that's what two games down now. All right, let's have a look. Do do. So we have the NA. Uh, we have the NA tournament that is actually going to be starting at. I believe the NA tournament will be starting at tw about midnight. So let's have a look. I'm not sure how the brackets actually will automatically. Okay, we have. It. Okay, we got. We got the brackets All right. Bear with me, one guys. I try and let's try. I have got the brackets. I just need to add something onto my stream to uh, be able to view them. Do do. Okay. So is that done? No, that has not done it. One second. Okay, so here's our, um, well, Baron, how you doing, buddy? So here's the brackets. I'm not, uh, see, we have games looking, just make sure, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, one second, bear with me. Yeah. Just make sure that we're, we're good, I think we're good. Not sure if we're in the right lobby at the moment. Sure if you want to be in this lobby or not. Bear with me one second, guys. I just want to make sure that everything is all good. All right, I think yeah. Okay, we're all good. All right, we'll go quickly back to the uh, brackets. Do -do -do. So this is the brackets at the moment. I can't actually remember who we cast. It's been pretty. It's been pretty full on. Uh, you guys might have recognised who we cast. Um, so we have already gone through round one. Uh, the BJ, Mr. BJ, and Bruce Lee. Uh, I'm not sure who we're actually watching right now. Um, some interesting team names going on right here. I don't know if any of you guys. If you guys, these are your buddies. If you recognise any of them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what is going on. So you can actually check out the bracket here if you want to look at it yourself. You will need to actually uh, make an account though. Okay, it looks like the game is going to be starting. There we go. I'm all over the place now. Alright, so... Okay, so we're back in then. We have uh, the 
Cirrus and our first time actually seeing Ascar this game, really nice. And they're going to be coming up against a Lucian of Cirrus, which is quite interesting to see. A Lucian! I'm not too sure, I don't know what you guys feel about Lucian at the moment. Uh, I've seen a few good ones and I think she can do some okay damage, but at the same time I think she can be quite vulnerable over here. But it seems like the red team are really putting away with this one at the moment. I'm, I did miss who actually secured the first orb there as we are looking at the brackets. But it does like the blue Cirrus is going to get dropped. Do Shifu even, sorry, getting dropped really early here. I don't think Asuka is going to really have much chance to be able to turn this around. He is about 10% away from Pokken's ultimate. The middle orb is up. He is going to float to the bot side, but with no green orbs up, I think he's only really delaying time here as he gets chopped down. So, a good start for the red team as they take it 1 0 up here. Very nice. Are we surprised? No. I'm quite surprised. <laughs> So this is the first match we're actually going to see a support and a carry versus uh, before we've actually seen the teams being quite balanced but this time we've got two damage versus support and damage so um, and the support and damage actually coming out on top which is uh, interesting to see. They do both have legendary the, uh, the, the fire mounts which is pretty badass. It's going good man, they're all enjoying the battle ride content. Um, Again, welcome any of you guys that are coming. This, if everything goes well, this will probably be a regular occurrence. We do have the NA. Uh, this, I'm not sure how long this is going to be going on for, but the NA games will be starting at midnight. For any of you guys that are interested in checking out the NA, EU is where it's at though. As we are seeing the blue team really win them down, but as Asuka actually leaves his friendly Shifu then, I feel if Asuka actually stuck with him, they might be able to turn this around now, but the fact that she's going to be able to sustain this out, I feel when you're against, the, if, I feel when you, you, you know, you've got two damage here, they actually started the match off quite well here, but I feel it, when you actually leave the the healer alone like they did then, you know, they kind of split, I don't know if Asuka felt that he was going for the orb, but Shifu was fully committed then, as always abilities were on cooldown, you know, if you don't kill the healer there, you're, you're pretty screwed, so, um, let's see, as the red team once again pick up, pick up two, so it's going to be a big comeback for the blue team to turn us around here. I don't think it's going to happen. The red team are playing it pretty well. But the blue team, I, if they just all in her, but they're going to have to land a nice javelin toss and coming in from Shifu. Potentially pick up the middle orb, or if they can kill her quick enough before the middle orb, I think that would be her best option. She is a low mo, mo champion, so the, the potential is there. We'll see. Feels a bit, it feels a bit unfair uh, with them not having the epic mounts. The two, the two rams versus the two lava mounts. Feels bad. Those are coming in then. That's far, man. That lava mount. Where is that? Shifu does actually get a nice stamina toss on, but he pops his conjure ability a bit of a tooth in there. I feel the enemy Shifu is toying with them right now as they will Freya down. A really nice javelin toss, but I feel they're really toying with them right now. He, he's going for the 2v1 maybe, is this what's going to happen? He's literally letting his teammate die right here. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I guess that's how you want to go down as the uh, blue team do turn this around. You're getting a big ultimate off. It does miss his javelin toss, it does actually hit the wall there, it does not fire through walls, so you want to be watching out for your, your scenery as the enemy Shifu is only about 5% away from picking up his ultimate, and he hands dropped the other one pretty low here, this potentially could be a turnaround, I hope it will be very amazing as he gets a really nice ultimate off here, he is going to pick up both green green orbs here, and potentially try and turn this around, a big stun coming in by Asuka with his ultimate, and the, yeah, yeah, the blue team actually do pick up the middle orb there this time, once again, uh, unfortunately he does actually miss his orb, but he has picked up his ultimate right here, it'd be interesting to see if he decides to go for the heals with his space bar, or is just going to go straight out for damage, as the sudden death arena is closing in on these two foes, how is this going to go down? A big conjurer, but he could really turn this around, his middle orb has spawned now, I don't think it will be enough for Asuka, oh we have another ultimate. Which will go to waste as he already has his armor, but it will be interesting how he plays this. As the arena is getting smaller, what a turnaround this will be. <laughs> was he too cocky or was he not? He has wasted his conjure ability here and the stun is going down. I, l I really feel that the blue. Oh, really nice bat. It looks like the blue team. GG. He rode around on his mouth for days and uh, congrats to the red team. A bit of cockiness coming at the end then, but. GG, 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 
Wow. <laughs> I really thought that the blue team were going to pick that up after they destroyed Freya so quickly then, but GG to the red team, cockiness did actually prevail through that. Very nice. I'm not sure who we're actually going to be commentating now. It was a bit rude, I do agree, the BM is real. I was hoping that the blue team were going to actually turn them around. It's nothing better when you see some BM go horribly wrong, but unfortunately this time... Um, Watching this time, it, <laughs> it wasn't the case. I feel bad for the guys. It's never, never nice, but it is how it is. So GG to the red team. They are going to be from going on to the next round. Yeah, I'm not actually sure what the uh, rankings are. We'll have a quick look at the uh, bracket again. I get the bracket of e bosses. Oh, it looks like. Uh, Um. All right, sweet. So I think we have one last more round one, and then we're gonna be going into uh, game two, maybe. All right. Uh, I just get us into the game, and then we'll have a quick look at the bracket once again. It's all a mess. It's, t it's too much going on for me. When you get a mod, that is the question, isn't it, Rap? Well, that is the question. Tell me how to mod, or I'll make you a mod. I, I, I can't remember how to do it anymore. My, uh, getting old. I'm not down with all these, uh, all the cool things in life. Alright, we'll quickly, uh, restart my game. Ooh, a good old, uh, Good old bar, right? Uh, do, do, do we do we have any? Do we get any friend of ours? This potentially is our one. Uh, one second, dearie me, this is a mess. Trying to. One second, bosses. I'm not sure if this is actually the right lobby. Okay, alright, we're in the room. Alright, we're here, we're here, what a mess. <laughs> Sorry guys, apologies for not quick. If that was one of you, I apologize, I'm not going to be uh, casting your game. It looks like we're going to be jumping in with these old foes. So, a quick look at the bracket whilst we're up and running, whilst we're waiting. I don't know if anything's actually changed. Is everything, everyone commenced on to round? I'm, so, I think, I think we're casting one more right here. So I'm not sure if everyone has actually, or by well, looks of things, everyone's on to round two. I'm really looking forward to the finals. It should be um, great fun. It should be great fun. So I'm not sure who we're actually going to be, who what the comps are going to be here. Yeah, I, I think, uh, like I say, it's early access at the moment. I think the, the, the actual system they got going at the moment is pretty solid, to be honest. You know, they, they've got you know, the replay feature. I think is really cool. And there's a lot of potential what they can do with the game, and I think it's got a solid base at the moment. I really, I really like to see them work the whole UI again, to be honest. Um, but to be, to be honest, uh, at the moment it, it does the job, and you know, for an, for an early access game, I can't really complain. 
Nice man, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that, buddy. You're making some big sales in here, man. Yeah, I will. I will. I will um, get the bracket up. The only thing is where I minimize. Well, I guess I might be able to switch it up. I'm trying to do everything on the wing right now. I haven't. I didn't. Didn't really think about the brackets um, because when I minimize everything, well, when I go back in the game, you lose the bracket. I'll work on something. It's all good. It's all happening so quickly, man. So we have a quick pause. First pause of the night. Hip hip hooray. So, what we're going to have here, we're going to have a Baku and an Ascar coming against a Pogo and a Freya. First Freya of the night, looking forward to this. I think she is a really strong champion. Her Thunderclap can be deadly, especially if she counter, or if she used with her account ability, it can be really strong. And with Pearl, the Pearl with the Jaws ultimate, if she uses her Jaws, if she uses the Jaw com com count or combo with a Thunderclap, it could be an interesting combo. We're gonna start things off again. I really feel this is a situation where that you know Freya can get really go in and cause some big damage, but they really need to whittle Freya down here. As Ascari is using his mobility to put some nice damage on here, Baku doesn't really make too much of his shield use. Middle all is two seconds away from spawning away. Which team will be picking us up? So far, we've seen the team securing the middle orb has really been the victor of the game. The blue team Freya is actually able to jump in here as the enemy, as the red team has switched their focus on the pole again. A big stun off onto her, and she has dropped under about 40% health right now under. About 30. Asuka does come in with a very nice ultimate, which has bounced her into the wall. It looks like the red team is actually going to be picking us up, but the blue team are running really low here now. Our heels are going to be healing through this. A nice ultimate coming in from Baku, charging her down. Freya doesn't really stand much chance here. She does land an okay as counter ability, but it's all a bit too late as Baku's able to chop her down with his axe right there. And GG. Wow. That was um, really nice. It was quite unexpected, to be honest. I thought when the red team kind of decided to tr once uh, Freya went in for the blue orb, the middle orb, and secured it, which was nicely, it uh, did leave Pearl open on the bottom side, and good job, a really nice stun coming in from Asuka, and they were to pick her off, so GG. Round two, then. We'll see what we got coming in here, then. Once again, that middle orb really proving the difference. Baku is going to make the aggression, he's this time, time deciding to bottle down to Freya, she does go for Asuka, trading blows at the moment, nothing too much, but this is where we have to remember is that Pearl's going to be able to heal through this incoming damage at the moment, but let's see what happens as, a, as Freya and Asuka do bow on the bottom side, he is getting whittled down right here, she's jumping in, will she get, she does actually miss her thunderclap right there, middle orb is up, it has been knocked away. Really nice. Again, a good pickup by the blue team. And I think the blue team, blue team at the moment are picking us up. And this is what I'm talking about. The last game already, Pearl was dead now. And they're going to be able to start healing up here. As the enemy team, Asuka, is currently under 50% health. Freya is literally moments away from getting her ultimate. Let's see how this actually plays out. As she gets a really nice combo with a thunderclap there. It'll all but once again. But both teams pretty much having their ultimates. So it's not really going to come... Great uses back. Who does charge her Freya off the end, uh, the side of the map here? And we're not too sure what's happening. And she's dropped. And <laughs> the red team had turned this around. And Asuka getting a really nice ultimate off and actually picking up Freya here. And we didn't see her from from as from what I can see. I didn't actually see a popper ultimate here. And once again, the red team really turned this around. I thought after the blue team were able to disengage there and pick up the middle orb, they were going to sustain through this, but. They didn't feel they didn't follow the aggression from to Asuka then, and I, I feel that the uh, the red team really turned that around nicely. I think mean, once Freya picked her up her ultimate there, they should have just kind of tried to burn out one of his um, dashes and then just went ham. You know, I can understand maybe her being scared that he might be able to do our ultimate because he's with his um, dash ability, but I think they should have tried to obey that out and just went for him. They just left it too long, and yeah, GG. I really think the blue team really should have picked up that round then, but. There we go, well played by the red team, and it looks like if they pick this up, they're going to be commencing on to round two. Here we go. They are going to be marching around on the outside of the map, making use of the movement speed. You see the middle coming up in about 10 seconds. Which team is going to be securing this this time? It's Blue Koo, they're deciding to put their focus down on the Pearl. Trading blows at the moment. Middle is about 3 seconds away from coming up. It looks like the red team are going to be able to command this, but they are split focused. And Pearl's the, no, the red team, tell a lie. The red team did actually pick that up then. 
There's one thing I'd like to see the game improve on is actually seeing like even me focusing on the game right now It's quite hard because it's only a small blink of red or blue to actually tell who uh, picks it up so I'd like to see the uh, I like oh really nice big armor coming in by Freya there's the uh, blue team look to be turning us around here and this is why I've been waiting for this what we really should have saw in the last round but Freya I think oh really nice to say it's going to leave uh, Ascaron on his own then GG well played really nice big turn around I don't think Baku is going to be able to 2v1 this one with under 50% half against these two guys he has picked up his ultimate, he's going to have to hit something really special here as Pearl's up to 100% already again. I think he's only wasting time, but the arena closing in. There's one feature again I'd like to see as well as he lands his ultimate here is to see the when the arena starts closing in for the music to start getting a bit more epic. A GG to the blue team, a really nice turnaround here and I feel this is what should have happened in round uh, the last round, round 2. It's going to draw on a little bit longer. How can Pearl's fish get so big? What kind of magic is this? So, I, I feel the red team, the, the first strike in the strategy worked quite well where they just went ham. I feel that's the way to do it. If you're, if you're going to be coming against these support champions, you need to literally try and burst them down as quick as possible. If you don't, they kind of out-sustain you as we saw here and it was really nice. I do feel there's a bit of miscommunication as they're kind of battling down on Freya and you can just see Pearl's just healing her up for days and they're really not phasing them as the red team are already dropped down to 70% health in total and the blue team have a nice lead here. Middle Orb has been forgotten about at the moment as Asuka is getting really pounded down and it looks like the blue team is going to be taking this to a, a f final round. Red team are willing it down, can Freya can get a sneeze, she did actually, blue team picked that up, a really nice orb to secure here, and she has picked up the out, of, out orbs, and you can see the difference here, where the blue team are now at 81% to the 51% of the red team, and even Baku shields aren't going to be able to stop this coming in, he has picked up his ultimate, and does land on the Freya, but I don't think it's really going to cause too much issue, she counters back with a nice thunderclap. Asker is going in, he has put some nice damage on the pearl, they're whittling it down. I think Freya actually missed her ultimate potentially there, but Asker running down on the only one health at the moment. Mid orb is up, and I imagine the green orbs are on their left hand side, but he's dashed away from them as Freya's coming in. He does get a nice ultimate, I think that no, he, he's up to 11 health at the moment, but Pearl's able to easily drop him off. And once again, a really nice comeback from the blue side here. I, I don't really, I, I'm not really sure what's happened here. I think a bit of miscommunication, a bit of miscommunication at the start from the red team here, where they originally went from Pearl and with Baku's charge, but after that they just didn't follow through. Started the and down Frey, and the blue team once again picking up that middle orb. I think somehow, I'm not sure, Baku actually secured that. I saw a red flash. Oh, and he's ulted out the arena. I love it. Style points right there. That's going to take us 2-2, two two. this is our biggest comeback yet. If they turn this around, this will be some style points for sure. I was now at two apiece. A really nice comeback from our blue team, but again, I really feel that they should have taken that previous round earlier on. Red team going to be tilted for sure. I've been in a few situations where you've been 2-0 up, up to throw the game. Or even in the same situation where you're 2-0 down and you somehow turn around. That feeling on this game is amazing. See what they can pull off here as they both come charging in. He does get a nice in here. Going to be coming on to pull up. Big combo. That's actually going to drop it down to 50% health. And this is what I'm talking about here. But again, now they're now leaving on the bottom side to heal up. I really feel they should be following this through. As she's now coming back up to 70% health. And Freya's able to keep Asuka away. There's one thing Baku going down. But Freya's going to be able to do enough damage on Asuka to keep him out of business for sure. She gets an unreasonable good flam to clap. Mid orb is up. We'll see if the uh, which team can secure it this time. Asuka has leaped in and is on Frey. The red team do pick it up this time as Freya jumps in. Both teams running really low here. Baku is really low. I think they're going to be able to pick him up if she gets a nice ultimate. GG. Wow. I think she's going to be able... There is a full ultimate on the floor for Asuka to pick up. But with, both, with Pearl and then Freya getting the green orbs on the top side. I think this is going to be... <laughs> I think Asuka's going to have to pull off something special to turn this around. Uh, GG, I, I think this was the importance, this is what I was talking about earlier, this is, uh, I think we, we did see one other game with a support against a uh, non-support, but the uh, enemy team, or the red team, have been able to out-heal through the damage, you know, the red team, 
right. proved at the start that they were able yeah. to put the damage out, but they, they just didn't follow it. And I think some split focus here, just pure miscommunication. You know, if, if you're going in, you have to follow that through. And I think in a situation where you have two damage versus a, a one support and one damage, you know, you have to kill that healer. If you don't, we're in a situation here where they were 2 0 down and the blue team would turn this around. So, um, GG. Nice, good job. Really nice job from the blue team. It's our first time we've actually seen the. Um, I'm not sure they're all in red there. I feel some of the orbs that picked up were actually taken by the other team. I'm not sure if that's a bug or a visual bug or something. I don't know. But good job. Really nice. Really nice turnaround by the blue team. That is going to move them on. Um, so uh, let's have a look. What were actually. Um, Brackets. So I don't know how the brackets if this is like automatically updates or something. Like I guess we're in round two. Round three hasn't actually started now. So I think uh, the brackets at the moment are correct. Don't hold me to that. It's all a bit of a, it's a little bit of a head fuck to me at the moment. Person, man. Let's have a quick uh, rundown. So we have lost and blue Bruce Lee. Wait, we have two lost? Oh, they lost. Oh, I see. We lo ah, oh, that's what lost. Ah, okay. I believe so. Lost so. Okay, so we're going to see time goat. So that hasn't actually updated to what's going on. We have Pay the Gay. <laughs> what a great name! It looks like they're going to be taking on Froggy Two as Pay the Gay. Lovely names, I love it. Um, Alskern vs BGOC. We suck at this. They're going to be taking on Bruce Lee. So condemned. Here we go. Okay, this is our round three, then, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Okay. See what happens. Big stuff coming in, eh? Big stuff. I'm expecting some big plays to be coming out now. I haven't actually seen any Varish yet. We've still been missing. We haven't seen any uh, Paloma. We haven't actually seen any Paloma this game, uh, this tournament so far, or either. I believe. Did we see an older game? I don't think we've actually seen any Order or Rook. Or virus. So we're still missing a few champions. So it'd be interesting to see if they do actually decide to get pulled out here or not. Fingers crossed. I'm how I'm holding out for some uh, older gameplay. Mr. Longneck, he is the man. Icons. I get some more. I, I'm pretty happy with my avatar. I think I've done quite well out of the uh, loot system on this game. Normally, I remember like half stone. I spent like 300 odd quid on half stone. And I just just got nothing. So I'm quite happy with how I've uh, done out of this. To be honest, without having to spend actually any money on game, I've got like some cool stuff. I got like Brooks fish. His little fish weapon's pretty cool. But to be honest, the cosmetics in game at the moment aren't all that impressive. Um, but again, for early access, you know, I think the cosmetics aren't bad. But it'd be interesting to see what they start throwing in there at the end. So it looks like we're waiting for one more, I believe. What have we got? Are we in the center? This is the best. This is the best of one. Oh. I'm not sure, I think this may be a best of one now. I originally thought it was going to be the other way around. I'm pretty confused. But I originally thought it was. So, I thought it was. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll just go with it. Just commentate and let them guys go with how it's going. Yeah, alright. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. Liking his icon. It's kind of like the. Um, Chinese New Year, like the monkey. That's pretty cool. Alright, so is he coming in? Is this him? Is this our man? He's here, I believe. 
So I think this is round f round three. Global rank one. Are we talking about? Oh, oh, we got something. We're in the right one. I don't know. I'm pretty confused. Uh, that's always a good way. I've thrown all these names at me. I saw just too much. So we're actually going to see our first Paloma this game. Nice. I don't actually play her myself, but I'm interested to see how some of these um, players in this tournament are going to pick her out. So let's see what we can get up to then. This is actually probably my favorite map. I really like the uh, style they go from this map. It's nice and dark. It's cool. Ooh, so we are going to see once again Shifu. I don't know what the pick percentage of this tournament has been for him, but I'm pretty sure we've actually seen him in like 80% of the games. Maybe. It wasn't actually in the last game. We've seen him in a good amount of games. So he's certainly a, a strong pick. First time seeing Paloma, it's going to be actually comboed with Teo here. I think Paloma's a really interesting champion. Her counterplay, and she's just generally annoying to catch with all her stealth abilities and disengages and her freaking fear she can pull off. The fact that she can hit two fears, and again, seeing her use her actual counterability there to be able to move back. And this is actually a really nice play by the red team, and only the fact that Shifu gets a nice conjure ability and it was some deadly infection, some big damage going down. I really thought the red team have secured the middle, we're going to secure the middle of them, but well played. A nice country ability coming in, causing some big damage onto Paloma. She does get a nice fear off here, but with a, a panicked away, it really looks like the blue team are going to pick this up. <gasps> GG, wow. That deadly infection comboed with Shifu's damage was huge. Bruce Lee, I'm, I didn't think we have actually commented Bruce Lee game yet, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to be bringing to the table. I think. Taya's only really wasting time here. She has picked up a mount. It's quite an interesting armor. She just put up some nice damage. You see quite a lot of bad ones, but when you do see a good one, she can really put out the pounding. So GG, nice pick up by the uh, blue team. Really, really did nicely there. And that was a uh, big play by Shifu in my opinion. In my opinion, he he made a really nice country strike, which actually was able to throw him behind his targets, which then allowed him to actually secure the middle orb. Which again, as I keep highlighting on that middle orb, with the picking that up, you know, picking up at any point in the game, you just being able to get your ultimate sooner, and also the fact that you get an additional health for it is just huge. I don't know how everyone's got these mounts. I, I always thought these mounts were quite rare. <laughs> or, I guess they've been put out quite a bit, but mostly I never see anyone really getting them, but we've seen quite a few people riding on them now, so I'm not sure if they're streamers themselves or they've been able to get them, or they've won them in giveaways. Uh, there is actually currently a blue mount that you can get hold of, um, but you have to be very special, I believe, to get a hold of that. So, yeah, the, the, the blue team are just pounding down here. The, the damage just really isn't coming out. I feel Terra is. I, I mean, we'll have to look at the stats after this, but I really feel that Terra isn't putting out much damage here. I'm not sure if it's the fact that Shifu's scaring away, but look at him. He, he's literally just taking them both on his own. Lucy's just standing on the outside of the map, really doing nothing here. She just chucks in a deadly infection once and then, and she's just putting the work down. I and mean, you're going to make really light work of this here. A nice country ability, and GG. I think this is going to be a whitewash. I, I really can't see the red team turning this around here. I was excited to see Paloma get picked, but so far she's literally just been steamrolled. They're just the power of Shifu, I guess. GG. Froggy. I don't know who Froggy is. Maybe we potentially will see him. I'm just going by what I'm told. So if Froggy is one of the guys, hopefully we will see him if that's who you want to see. It's not a snub to me, unfortunately. I, I just go with the flow. So it wasn't actually best of ones. I'm not sure what best. Oh, oh, I, I think. Oh, okay. I see. I think I understand what they mean by best of ones now. Maybe best of threes is going to be the fact that they have to do. You have to do one the whole game and then another game. I guess maybe that's how it's going to work out. Um, so literally, I, I really feel that the strategy here is just kind of Freya just does nothing and Shifu takes them in the TV one, similar to the actually game. I'm not sure if these are the two players we watched earlier. We we had we had the exact same thing where. Um, 
It potentially could have been the same team because uh, they they let Freya die and Shifu just took them on both the team on his own. And this basically seems to be what the case is here is they're literally just making he's making light work. They're just not putting the damage out at all. I, I don't know what it is. I just <laughs> I, he did actually miss the orb this time, so the red team might be able to. I, I'd like to see them kick them back in their teeth, but. Doesn't look like it's going to be the case. The blue time do actually secure the middle orb as he goes in with a nice country, but he gets some decent damage down using his impale onto the uh, enemy tail. She does actually get her mount here, but Rudy, I just don't feel there's no damage coming out from the uh, blue team, a uh, red team even. Just get a nice auto mouth here. I <laughs> it was kind of painful to watch. I just uh, there is just no damage. I like, literally he is taking them on his own. A long process. He's taken no beating for it at all. I haven't really even seen Lucy throw out a heal for him. It's GG. A bit of a mismatch, maybe, in the situation here. He does actually miss his javelin toss here, as it looks like it's Lucy's turn to try and take them on a TV1, and she starts whipping them down with some auto attacks. Blue team once again picking up middle over 20 seconds away from sudden death. I think it's. Only a matter of time now before this game ends. The music in here really reminds me of when I was out in Thailand and watched the uh, Thai. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen any Thai Muay Thai boxing. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, music really reminds me of that. I mean, they've done a good job of the soundtrack here. Nice job, Natas. He does actually pick up once again, picking up the orb for his team here. And Sudden Death starts closing on the arena. Welcome back, Dreams. How you doing, buddy? Looks like the blue, <laughs> the blue team are just taking them for a stroll. This, this is the second time we've seen Taya pick a revolt at this game, but again, as she is actually putting a bit of a pounder down on the fray, Lucy, but it's not going to be any prevail as Pearl does. As, um, Pearl. Paloma does actually whiff her ultimate then. Just get a nice panic. Uh, it's really not going to be enough to um, stop the blue team as a BM and them a little bit here. Blue team, really a big whitewash here. I don't <laughs> the red team just couldn't put the damage down, even in the, the last moment when Shifu was taking them on the 2v1, and Lucy just wasn't even throwing out any heals at all. It, it just, there was no damage. I don't want to say, the first time we've seen Paloma, potentially because Condemned is grade 15 with a rank of 5,664. That will potentially. Um, I guess that will potentially, <laughs> I guess that potentially explains to why the, the, the enemy team kind of got their ass kicked. Um, that would be why it was very one-sided, there we go. Uh, I think that's the highest rank I've seen in games. So. I've, I did see some people were talking about number one, so I don't know if he's actually the number one player. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> Whilst the, the enemy team was still in their placement matches, he's like, yeah, level 15. So, uh, thank you very much, I'm glad you're enjoying the casting, Super. That was crazy. Um, so I, I, I feel I have a feeling that we actually watched them. I, I can't remember. I saw just kind of there's just so many games going on. Um, and we'll have a quick look at the brackets once again. But so that was condemned. He's the one we want to be watching out for. Condemned literally did condemn his teammates. That is some rating right there. You know, I, I'm literally just about to hit level 11, rank 11. But uh, the problem I find is that you know I think I'm certainly definitely higher than rank 11. Maybe say 12, 13. I don't know. But when you're only getting like five points a win or something, it's just ah. Uh, it is long. It is a long process. So I don't know if he did really well in his placement matches, but as you guys saying, he's ranked one. We'll have a quick look at this. Bring him up. Um, so he is. This is his profile. He is rank one. There we go. So I don't know if we actually have any other top players in this tournament, um, but yeah, rank one. He certainly was. Uh, it was a whitewash by them. It was a bit of an unfair matchup, but that's how it goes sometimes. You. Anyone of any level is welcome to join the tournament, so you know, you're know you going to come up there and you see he does actually have an 8 wow. That is some win rates really, isn't it? 87%. That is uh, pretty damn impressive. 599 wins to 102 losses. Wow. 6 to 1. That's pretty much about a 6 to 1 ratio. That is, <laughs> it is not bad. That is not, good. not as bad game. So we got a five minute wait before we jump into the next round, which will allow me to actually go get a drink. Uh, I'll put on some music and a little background for you guys, a little bit, a little bit of tropical house. Oh yeah, feeling it. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the brackets before I go get a drink. Um, da -da -da. So the <laughs> it was <laughs> uh, it wasn't. Um, 
So condemned? Where is condemned then? We, oh, oh, I see. I'm ah. Okay, I finally actually worked out what's going on here. So he's not known by condemned because we're going by the team names. But the problem ah. So here we are. This was team. He's team Bruce Lee. The problem is whilst we're actually in game, I don't know who we're actually watching. You know, obviously we can see the players' usernames, but I'm kind of actually like this, let's say the first time we cast this tournament. Um, kind of understand how the system works so if everything goes well and you guys want to see more we'll probably look to maybe do or we still got the na tournament so i'm going to be able to bit up the grabs for that which that's not going to be till midnight so a bit later on um but i've got a bit of grabs for it so next week we'll be on top of things and we'll actually know what's going on uh so bruce lee they beat um you know poor old toast bot <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, uh, he had it hard there. So Bruce Lee is going to be coming up against into round four. Uh, they haven't actually played, so the games haven't finished. The system seems to be quite nice. I don't know if they're actually manually entering it, but it looks like the um, the data's updating pretty quickly, which is nice to see. So I'm going to grab a drink. Uh, we can chill out for a few minutes, guys. Nothing's going to be going on just now. So yeah, a few minutes and we'll jump into um, round four. Poor, <laughs> poor Mr. Toast, man. Uh, feels bad. He's going to go eat some toast. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be back um, literally a couple minutes, guys. So, we've had some exciting games pretty far, and the last game in which was just an absolute whitewash. We'll have a quick look at the um, brackets again. So, Condemned, who is number one in the know, servers, or in, I'm not sure if they were actually EU servers, or the whole game, or how it actually works. Um, absolutely kicked Mr. Toast in the, in the face right there. So, that was... Um, who went through? We suck at this, well, I guess it kind of, not to be mean, it kind of summed it up. 
at least they were at least they were honest. They, they knew how the situation was. As um, condemned, so he's gonna be in round four. We don't actually know at the moment. We'll have a quick refresh. Not sure who he's actually gonna be facing off against just yet. Looks like um, Rogi two summons on the bottom side instead of that side. Not sure how that's actually worked out. Seems to be upside down. You won round two, which, uh, so... Ah, cheers man, my bad, um, that's my fault. Thank you very much, you are a true gentleman. That's my great, uh, great spanning, that's great spanning for you right there. Cheers boss. You're the true, the true MVP of tonight. Which round did you, which team were you doing? There really, there's just so much going on here. It's too much for me to uh, concentrate on. So hopefully uh, I will go through um, all the clips tomorrow. We we'll have, should have some good replays. I'm gonna upload the... Uh, um, I'm going to upload the whole stream onto YouTube, which is YouTube Mr. Big Russ 666. You can click on the annotation tomorrow on the, uh, at the bottom of my U little YouTube link. Upload the whole game, and also we'll try and make some top plays from the actual tournament. I'll go through and see what's happened. I can't remember, we've had some OKS plays, but nothing of um, anything too hectic at the moment. And too kick ass. Not like your man, Mr. Big Russ, racking it up. Shut my mouth. Hoping, working on. They have the. Uh, I don't know if you guys followed the um, Steam community page. They have actually this Warham mount in blue. It looks dope, but you have to be a pillar to the community. So I keep working on the videos, and maybe they'll be like, "Yeah, bruh, here you go." I bought my Goblin Frame mount. I was like, I got um, picked this up. The, the, the uh, Founders Pack, the additional Founders Pack, the extra money. I was like, yeah, you know, that'd be cool. And then, and then I went into a game and saw that, I was like, what? <laughs> I need that in my life. Like, look at my Goblin Frame mount, which is maybe like my legendary mount, and then there's just that. Uh, bruh. It's too sexy. I really like the system they have in place. Like, I played Overwatch and I didn't really play it massively. It wasn't really my cup of tea. But the fact that, like, obviously very similar to Overwatch, you have your chest system that you can buy chests with in-game gold, I think it's really cool. It's a nice little touch, you know, obviously you can buy it with real money. Which I would put, well, I bought the Founders Pack, but I wouldn't put money onto the game at the moment. I just don't think there's enough cool enough stuff to actually get in the chest at the moment to ban put money on. And I've been really lucky, actually, of what um, got out, like, Brook. Brook even got his little fish, which was pretty cool. I got the, um... I think I bought the skin actually, no, I bought the skin for him, but I got the weapons which is pretty sick. Baku, got his little face paint. Yeah. All right. I really want to get his, uh, I think it's probably one of the best weapons in game, or well, it depends obviously who you enjoy, but his, uh, look at that art, man. But a lot of them I just feel kind of just like skin overlays, like, you know, like you know, default weapon that's kind of better than <laughs> those ones, but again, as I sort of said earlier, I think for an early access game, the, the amount of content they have on here is just really spot on. I right, take my hat off. Oldor, Oldor, I think he's a funny champion. And like the uh, voice lines as well, like when you actually listen to champions when they get play of the game and stuff, and they say something like, uh, I saw like Eva say the other day that he said he was going to the theater or, the theater or something, which I thought was really funny. Um, do, do, do. The only thing with the game, the, or the most annoying thing with the game at the moment is the whole kind of like party system and invites is just a little bit buggy. But, early access, yo. I'm interested to see what happens when it does go to free to play, I'm sure obviously I follow Reddit a lot. And from my top five players, which have been doing really well, the community is building up nicely. So once it actually goes through the play, it should be cool to see how many players we actually see coming on. And for me, being a League of Legends player for like the last five years of my life, playing nothing else, um, I think it's just taken away League for me at all, big time. So 
sweet. The thing is now like everyone that was online now is just offline. It's just a complete absolute head fuck. But we're here. We are here. So we have Eclipse. I think we're into round three maybe now. I would message old matey boy, but he's not online anymore, of course. And the replay system, which we can actually check out now. I think the replay system is what really sold me the game. Like League, like I don't know, you guys who ever may come from League, the League and never ever ever <laughs> implemented a replay system. It's just so stupid. They had the third party one, which was kind of like sort of crappy to be honest. How hard it was going to be just to have done what what they had here. It just needed to be basic, bro. And you can share your plays, and it makes the game. You know, they don't have to really do any advertisement because people will say like myself make top five plays and make guides, and it's just free advertisement for these games. Replay system fits that bill perfectly. So, not sure if it's me, if we're actually still missing two people. What? Wouldn't surprise me if it's me. See what happens. So, we're getting down to the last three. We're into round three, right? I think we're into round three now. Oh, quick, let's have a quick look. Round four, even sorry. Round four. So we're uh, literally. This is quarterfinals. Oh shit! Quarterfinals, semi. Wow, shit, son. So who are we? Wow, damn, son. Um, quarterfinals. Here we go. Expecting some big plays, um. Jester and Void King vs Deeds and Eclipse. Who are we gonna be seeing pulled out right here then, ladies and gentlemen? We saw, we saw the Palomo only for to get absolutely dick, so. Um, but, you know, I think the Palomo in the right hands can be deadly. Well, any champion, I really. I feel the champions. You know, you're gonna have champions that are a little bit stronger than other champions, but. I think it's quite well matched at the moment. Best of three then. So I assume by best of three, I originally thought this was wrong that we're gonna get three games. So we're gonna get one or first of first of three, whoever wins that, and then we're gonna get another one, potentially another one. So we're in for a big hopefully we're gonna have some interesting games here. Looking forward to it. Hopefully the Jester's going to pull out some nice tricks. I'm really waiting and we still have not seen a virus this game. It's probably my, or I wouldn't say he's my best champion in the game, but probably my favourite at the moment. Just offers so much uh, cool play potential. Here we go. So, oh, we have double virus. I love it. Two of them. Are actually going to get to see? I don't know if they're listening. No, 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 no. Oh. oh, they pumped me up. They pumped me up. They threw two of them on the board and then I need to be both taken away. Bruh. Feels bad. Okay. Alright, let's get the music off then. Here we go. We're gonna get into things then. So this is our quarterfinals, ladies and gentlemen. The team winning this of the best of three will be taken into our semi-finals. This is actually the second tournament for Play Tourney. I wasn't here for the first one. I didn't string the first one. Uh, but this one actually you know, it was a f full 30 teams, 32 teams fully booked. So it was actually nice to see it get featured on Battle Rights Steam community page. So if you guys want to register for next week's tournament, uh, playtourney.com. You can sign up there. Let's see what happens. You think you can take them on? Obviously, the number one, we have seen the number one condemn so far already. Who, well, <laughs> certainly did condemn his opponent. We're going to see Croak and Oldor, an interesting combo coming in by Paloma. Actually, we're going to see Paloma again with Asuka, so two supports, but a melee versus range. Let's see what can... So Croak is actually going to be hogging out on the outside of the wall. I feel this is the way he should be playing, and he's trying to make the most out of his stealth ability. The fact that he can actually come out of stealth as he is now and then get a big stun, but he has actually wasted his stealth ability here. He does use his double leap into his lunge, but he's taking a big pounding here, but Asuka is actually taking out half his health here, so an older friend of damage really down there. Croak didn't actually make much happen, he has chucked in his Venom, as I did miss who secured up that orb. It looks like it could have went either way, both teams are almost 
fully charged with that ultimate, so Croak gets some big damage. It looks like the red team are going to pick up this round here. And the Oldor just <laughs> throwing out his auto attacks on the backside then, really causing some nice damage. Croak has gone in, he's going to get his camouflage with a big stun. Somehow, Haskar is actually still alive here as they do pick up Croak. What a turnaround. I did not see that coming in. The red team really looked like they were taking commanding. A nice body blocking by Oldor to pick up the orb. They are both low, and he does. He's about to pick up his ultimate, so he could pick up a 2v1 here. Here, we'll see what happens. His ultimate is up as he comes in onto Asuka. A nice juke out is going to allow him to get away here. A nice juke over the stun. Both running really low now, but Vimer is healing him up. He did get a nice fireball, but mid is up, and the red team securing that once again. His ultimate is back up by the looks of things, but I think he's going to just struggle to make this happen here. Wow, a really nice turnaround by the, uh, the the blue team here. I, I thought the red team had this <laughs> in victory, and this is what I love about this game was the, the, the turnarounds. That was really well played. Maybe some missteps. Croak was going a little bit ham. I thought that the hamness was working out. I kind of liked where it was going. Older was putting out some big damage, but I guess where they got split at the end, um, he wasn't there able to heal him, and GG. He does have his little boulder sand with him right now. Good old boulder sand two rams. Looking forward to see what kind of mounts they add into the game. Again, I think mounts and all this kind of thing, like you don't really need the mounts. <laughs> there isn't really a need to them, bar running into the map for like five seconds. It's just a cool way of adding uh, style points, I guess, and another way of making more money. Which I'm all game for. I love I love chucking my money on oh man, it's cosmetics. So the red or the blue team actually did sneak that all the way then, which could be a big difference in this game as they look to pick up round two. Kurt getting a nice thing. Asker is actually split. I don't know where Paloma's gone. She kind of seemed to. She wasn't actually doing anything for a few seconds then, and a, a miss move or a, a few seconds being split away from your teammate at this level can really be a big difference. So it looks like the red team are going to be able to pick up this and take it to one apiece. Paloma, it's only a matter of time, and she. I'd be amazed if she was to turn us around. Weird things that happened, I guess. The enemy team are kind of split on focus, kind of deciding they are going to pick up the orb here. Really nicely done. As Paloma gets whittled down. Broke is going to get a deadly stun. He's going to pull it off. Very nice play. And the stun is just so huge, especially if teammates are carrying. He has picked up his mount. And GG. Oldo, there's really um, unexpected to see him throw out so much auto attack damage is quite surprising so nicely played by him and it's going to take it to one apiece and remember this is a best of three in our quarterfinals today looking forward to seeing who we are i'm hoping we get to see some various this tournament i'm quite disappointed we haven't seen anyone maybe the na guys have got the skills to bring them out we'll wait and see i thought i had faith in the eu but it doesn't seem to be the case both teams pulling in their mount level Croak getting some nice damage down onto the Astro as he split away from his teammate, but the thing we have to remember with the two counters he has, he's able to easily pull away. And this is the thing here with both teams he being able to heal up, this taking the center objective is going to be big here as Croak goes in onto Paloma, putting some nice damage down with his Venom right there. And the blue team are able to actually secure the middle objective as the red team do pick up the outer orbs. The Paloma dropping under 50%, Alaska is dropping under Asuka. Alaska? Asuka. Asuka dropping under 50% health, even. Only was Alaska. It looks like the red team are starting to take a little bit of a command here, but this really could go any way. He has picked up his ultimate. Let's see what happens as Venom Windstrike has gone down already, leaving him under 50% health. But with his ultimate still up, he can charge this up nicely. The one thing you have to watch out for with Crow because he gets a deadly strike, actually cancels his ultimate in time there. Is that the fact that with two leaves and a dash, and even with his ultimate, <laughs> he basically has four escapes to get away from that deadly fire strike. Really nicely played. It looks like the red team are going to take command here. If they can secure this middle objective, it would be very nice for them. 50 seconds away, sudden death isn't going to be coming in just yet as Croak's putting some nice damage down, and Paloma's just not being able to heal through this at the moment. Nice juke out, but I really feel they're only stalling time. A big turnaround from what we saw in round one. Now, as I say, the red team did dominate that first round, but I think the croak went a little bit too far, and the blue team will have to turn it around. As you can see here, the red team won, like, once again dominating this, and look like they're going to pick up this third round. 20 seconds until we see sudden death. Will it be needed? That is the question. As the blue team again, this is what we were seeing in the night war. Again, 
Croak making good use of his leap, I believe. This is what we saw earlier as the blue team was starting to actually turn this around. As Ask was actually able to pick a Zoltan off. I feel if he actually landed Zoltan, but then that would have been GG. Fortunately, he wasn't able to land it in time. I really feel he would have picked off Oldor then, which would have been a whole different situation. As it looks like the red team are able to pick up this third round. GG. It shall happen again. NA. Uh, the NA will be kicking off at uh, 12 midnight, I believe, is the actual official time for NA. So I, I expect this one probably to wrap up in about an hour. The games have gone on probably a bit quicker than I imagined. I think mean, we started at about 7, 7 past 7, because I was actually in a game not realizing the tournament started. <laughs> Getting blamed by someone, I need to leave. <laughs> not actually leaving because it's playing, but it felt good because I left because of the even better salt in his face. So GG. So the red team are going to be looking to take this in and this will be the first of the best of three. I think the blue team are going to need to switch up their tactics for the next game. This Paloma and Asuka, even though it has kind of worked, I really feel that the only reason it has worked is because of the lack of concentration by the red team. They just haven't followed up their initial damage. The red team are looking to be battling out in the mid. I can't see Croak losing this to the Paloma, which he actually has done here. That's a bit of a failure. But will it be enough? Asuka's up to 50% charge on the Zoltan, but Plamer has popped her freaking camouflage and they're grouping up quite nicely here. Croak once again going in and making nice use of his stun ability. Older is running low. If they, I feel if they can pick Older a really nice ultimate, but a, a very nice count by Older's ultimate, only to land back into the fire and still getting burned by the AoE effect right there. And I feel, I'm not sure if my eyes deceive me, that the blue team once again picked up the middle orb. But it doesn't look like it's actually going to cause any issues as Croak's just putting out too much damage here. But the enemy team are just aren't able to keep keep up with it. Alaska's going to easily get picked off. It's only a matter of time before this round is over. So we are going to see we are going to see another one. Pro time, I know, man. I completely. I was like, some guy was like, yeah, when when you start, man. I was like, well, we got five minutes, and he was like, no, 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 the game starting. I was like, no, no, we got five minutes, man. I was like, well, they're waiting for you. I was like, ah. Oh. Well, we'll just leave you, mate. I don't know how many... I uh, well, we would really care. We only have these, like, six points these days. The fact the guy was playing me kind of made it feel in there. And this is what I mean. Look at Older, man. Like, obviously, the, 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 when you look at graphs like this, it doesn't really perceive the true thing, what was going on here, because he was just standing freely auto attack, and so his damage is always going to be quite nice, but he was... The fact that he wasn't getting focused and Croak was, he was literally just throwing... He was throwing out some big hits. You know, you can't really read too much into it because someone could just stand there throwing out auto attacks all day and it's GG, but at the end of the day, you know, he did put out some nice damage. So we'll have a look what's going on here. Is everyone now everyone's online. Freaking game. Buggy. Buggy. So, we're gonna wait for the next one. So this is uh this is the quarterfinals, so this is a best of three, I believe. I'm this is what I, I'm taking from it. I originally I was a bit confused what best of three actually meant. I thought that we meant that by rounds, but it looks like we're gonna be getting another game, I believe. We'll wait and see, here we go. So uh we the blue I can't remember who actually won that now, I'm kind of confused. Someone won it. One of these guys won it. So if they win it, they will move on to the semi-finals. I'm not sure how Condemned is doing. Condemned, the number one player actually on the world at the moment, is actually owning. So um, be interested to see what happens as we move on in the tournament. We'll see if we can... Uh, we need to ready up, actually. Okay, we'll have a quick look and see if the uh, actual tournament has updated, if anyone's actually moved on. So the game we're watching at the moment, so the yeah, so we're currently actually watching the other game. We're what we're currently at the moment we're watching Froggy Two and Time Goat. So I take it Time Goat's the older team, yeah, that's Jester. So they potentially could be going against Bruce Lee, which actually does has Condemned there, and Condemned is the number one player in the world at this moment in time. Let's we'll see what happens. So I'd say this is a best of three. We already have I lost who actually won that. I take it Older won it. No, Older lost. No, Older won. Older and Croak won, didn't they? Older and Croak won. So if Older and Croak win this one, that will actually move them on to the semi-finals, where they potentially they could be taken on Bruce Lee, which holds Condemned. Um, again, we'll, we'll see what happens. So we're actually going to finally see Varus. This is the first time this tournament we actually see him. Probably my favourite champion in game at the moment. I think the counterplay he offers is just insane. We'll see if he's able to actually pop it off. I Unfortunately, we don't actually get to see what talents they take. He does have a talent where, with his Wuju ability, um, 
which is his counter. If you proc it, he can proc it again, which can work out really nicely. And the fact that when he actually uses his counter, counter ability, as he uses his warp away there, he can actually stun multiple targets, which is deadly. But the problem is that at the moment the team is really split here. I feel that the blue team are lacking a bit of communication here as Older and Croker already picked up their ultimates, or Older at least, as he put some big damage down onto Paris. And it, it, it's just not really working too well. But once again, they are poking around. I feel that Varus kind of works a little bit stronger. He gets this, the longer the game goes on before he gets a bit stronger, in my opinion, the rounds go on. I don't know if that's official. That's just how I kind of feel when I'm playing him. But he's really strong. The, the shield that he's able to offer can really soak up some nice damage. Uh, the Ploma again, another. I, I feel that the problem what's happened here, the red team really have the damage, the Croak and Older combo, without a doubt, a really nice ultimate from coming in from Varus. He does actually hit all three of that then. And with his ultimate, if you guys are unaware, if he hits one target, he can bounce off up to three times. If you watch my last top five plays, I was actually able to pick up my ultimate three times, allowing me to bounce nine times in a row. I do not know what's happening going on with the view at the moment. There's some like little disco feeling there. I really feel the red team could probably kind of des and decimate these two at the moment, but for the fact they're kind of split focus, I still feel they are going to actually pick up this round here. But this is what I was talking about. Where you are split focusing your target, they're kind of like, you know, they're going for one and they're like, well, no, we're actually going for the other one. And because of that, it's allowing them to pick up their ultimates, especially with the support that they're healing up now. And Croak's running pretty low, and if they make another nice play here, they could turn it around. Well, we'll have to wait and see. As he goes in with Nakus Dugan, the orbs are up on the outside, it does look like Croak's going to be able to pick him up, nicely done. She does get a nice ultimate off here, but I think it's all going to be too late. It is up with the green orbs, if she can pick these up, she might be in a good position, but it's going to be hard to turn this around. And she is with him down, but I feel with Older able to heal Croak up, they she they should pick us up. It has ended sudden death, so the arena is going to be getting smaller now. Cue the epic music, which just isn't there at the moment. Soon, maybe. Need some epic music. That's what we need, man. We need some epic music. It needs some epic music when this arena is getting small. It just doesn't feel very epic at the moment. Oh, she actually did the thing with the Paloma. She gets us off here. Is she going for it? Uh, I thought I thought she was being really smart. And then she did actually get dropped dead. I think mean, she would have struggled to turn it around. But I felt that with her positioning, actually entering the south round there, she was going to run past Croak and actually um, use her panic to push him back outside the arena. But it didn't happen. So once again, our uh, time monkeys. I believe that was the name. Was it time monkeys? Something to do with time. Because that older, of course, that makes sense. Be interested to see when this game actually progresses. Obviously, at the moment, we have no like ranked, or I guess there is ranked. You have like, there's no draft mode. There's nothing really official yet. But when rank official rank comes out, if we actually see like um, bans in 2v2s, it'd be quite interesting. If maybe you, if one player, each player could ban a champion. Obviously, with 15 champions, you'd only leave yourselves with what, 11 at the moment. So it wouldn't necessarily, if it necessarily work right now. But by the time it comes free to play, I'm sure we're going to see a lot more. There's two coming out by the end of the month. So potentially that can happen. As we see the blue team picking up the middle wall, but Croak and Older picking up some big damage. And you can see Older, this is what I'm talking about. Even though I believe the blue team actually did pick up the middle wall, then Older is throwing some serious damage out as he's already got his ult the first one in game to pick up his ultimate here. He's literally just, and the range on his auto attack is just crazy. He's literally steamrolling them. As Croak's just tanking all the damage again, he's picking up his ultimate. We see Varus getting another nice triple ultimate, really nice play, but I feel that he's too low at the moment. He does get a nice Kawuja ability there. He ha doesn't look like he's actually taking that level 1 talent to counter that, as he's using his warp to actually get out of the bottom, and will Paloma be able to heal him up? Croak is getting really low here, a nice panic. I don't think it's going to be enough to keep his teammate alive, though. Maybe so, it was an with a shield. Middle orb is up. Let's see what Paloma can do here. I don't know if this is bugged, I really don't feel the blue team actually secured that then, but the blue, it went blue, unless I am colorblind, <laughs> it definitely went blue, as um, Older once again getting his ultimate here, and we're going to see a bit more BM with the old uh, mount coming out, should be a caster, uh, maybe so man, it'd be easier than getting university, I tell you that man, since being at uni and having to do maths again, well I've never freaking done maths in my life, it's freaking, uh, I don't even want to get started to it, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing, man. Mass. I need to talk to myself. It'd be so much easier. Like all the crazy people. Crazy people outside. I just go around talking to themselves. That's who I am. So, really nice play. It looks like our red team are going to be taking the best of three here. Obviously winning the previous game. Don't get them confused for rounds like I was. So, they actually won a full three before. I believe that was actually a three and oh whitewash. And it looks like it could be the case again here. 
disappointed as I really were looking for some Rouse play, but the Paloma and Rouse combo hasn't really worked out. The Croak and Older, again, I really feel if they just went for it, they would probably whitewash them, but I guess they're having a bit of fun here. But the one thing with this tournament is, you know, the, there's a mixed match in MMR, as we saw in the Condemned game where he's ranked 1 and he went against Mr. Toast, who, who was in his placement matches, so, you know, he was probably maybe, what, ranked 9, 8, 9, 10, I don't know. You, you can see the MMR difference. And it's, yeah, it's one of those things with these tournaments at the moment where, you know, anyone can join, which is the nice fun thing, but you are going to get games where it does feel quite unbalanced because of that. So we are going to see the red team coming in. Oh, though, once again, I have seen this guy. I, <laughs> I'm amazed at how quickly he can get his ultimate. It makes me want to get on Mr. Old Bar, Mr. Longneck over there. What a character. Look, he just looks so cool. He's got some cool skins and weapons as well, man. I really like him. Oh uh, yes, that is a good shout. Yeah, that is a good shout. I'm literally this is my first time actually casting a tournament or casting over a barrel. I've casted or well, done my top five plays and casted some games I played in, but I haven't actually. I've tried messing around with the spectator settings, but I found this kind of view at the moment works well. But yeah, it's a good shout. Um, hopefully the fog of war will stay off the next game. Thank you for pointing that out, buddy. Uh, I'm hoping maybe they'll add it in as well, so that we can actually change through characters. I tried doing it earlier and it kind of, I've just kind of gone with this, it seems to work well. I hope you guys are happy with it, um, but yeah. Anything you want to point out, I say this is my first time casting in Battle Right, so we are working on it. But yeah, nicely done. Um, Really nicely done. So that was a uh, well done, GG. I kind of feel it was a bit unbalanced again. Looking, I, I, you know, I have to say it doesn't really necessarily show anything because I feel Croak was doing the work here. Croak was there again and soaking the hits, but Oldo was literally just. You know, I don't really know how to know how champion works. But he, I uh, just to me, he felt like he was staying on the backside, just chucking out auto attacks, and you know. It, you know, sure he has 744 damage, which seems like crazy. Which sand of time, which I guess that is his auto attack there, seems crazy. And it, you know, I can't knock it, he was putting some damage down, but it's kind of when you look at the scoreboard, I wouldn't read too much into it, but yeah, that was um, GG. So we have, what we got here? Oh, next round is the final. Oh, damn. So, we are into the final then, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what happened. I thought we were in the quarterfinals. I'm, conf I'm confused. I'm pretty sure we were in the quarterfinals, but this looks like this is the finals then. So this is going to be... Um, I will, I will. Good point, RJ. Good point. <laughs> I hear you, brother. <laughs> um, so this looks like this is actually the final, then. I don't know what happened to the semi-finals. I'm pretty sure uh, the way I was looking at the graph, there was the semi-finals. But we're into the finals, so I'm not sure if this is a best of three or a best of five. But we are going to be seeing Condemned, so... For any of you guys that weren't here earlier or don't know, I didn't realize at the time, Condemned is number one. Uh, I'm not sure if that's like overall. I'm not really sure how the actual servers work, but he is number one. He has like 5,500 something MMR, which I just couldn't even imagine again. I'm like around about 3,000 MMR and 3,000 MMR at the moment, and I'm getting like six MMR a win. It's just like that was where I come out my place of matches. I've moved up about 200, 300 MMR since coming out there. Like, man, to get up to 5,000, theory me, that's some crazy stuff. So, what are we gonna be here? Are we actually It'll be a best of three again, so um, thank you. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I appreciate it. Well, hopefully, if all goes well, we'll be doing another one next week. And also going to be doing an NA one. So if you guys, uh, I'm not sure what's, I guess if this is the last one, I'm not sure. I might jump onto some league or something and then we'll cast uh, Battle Right. I'll have a word, I'll see what's going on. And then we'll do the Battle Right NA tournament, which is going to be at midnight tonight. Uh, but I'm not sure. I just didn't know this is a final. It'll come around pretty, I guess we've been casting for about two hours now. It's going pretty quick. So, I'm hoping what, well, what I want to work on is just getting the moves name. I know got some moves, day, moves names down, but getting on top of them, that's what makes it a bit more interesting. So, we're going to be seeing Shifu finally once again. We haven't actually seen him for a little while. Like the last few rounds, he's kind of been missing out. So this was the Condemned. So this is the ones that we saw kind of BM and everyone, the Shifu and Lucy combo, which were really well. And we're going to again see the Croak and Oldor. So this should be interesting. And we'll see how this goes down. We'll actually see if we can actually uh, turn off my Fog of War, because it actually is still up. There we go. Cool beans, so let's get into this then. Middle orb's gonna be about five seconds away from spawning away as Condemn starts working onto older. And this is what I'm talking about. We're actually seeing some nice focus coming down here as 
really not seeing Craig doing too much here, but Older has actually taken him on, but it is starting to get well down. And once, it, oh, I thought I was going to say, I thought Older picked his ult map, and he's not far away, but Shifu has actually got a really nice cr invisibility by Craig and actually coming out to cancel World of Wind right there. I'm not sure who actually picked up middle orbs, we lost track of that then. But the problem here is Older's going to pick up the orbs on the outside of the map, which has left Croak pretty vulnerable. Has picked up his ultimate now. Once again, dear me, within the space of about 10 seconds, we've seen Shifu pick up his ultimate. The nice counter ability by Older then to knock him away. Has left Croak on the outside. We have lost him at the moment as it is focused on our Older. We're going to move down there. We're going to move there. Come on, you can do it. I'm not sure what Croak is running really low. He obviously took a big pounding there as he split from his teammate right there. And I, I feel this is going to be the end for the red team right now in this round as the blue team look to take over mid lane. Croak coming in. He does actually get countered by the Kundra ability there. Knocking away and does actually make true use of his staff and taking some incoming damage. Cordor has picked up his ult on that, but I think it's only going to be a matter of time before we see them lose this round. So GG again Shifu just putting out some big early game damage here. A nice all on that, but it's all gonna be too late. I really feel that condemned I, I don't know what he's got going on, but he has thrown out some insane damage. I, I'm, it makes me want to get on Shifu right now. I think he's a really interesting champion, like how obviously he get with his auto attacks, um, you can see next to his name he has the free charges or up to free charges. So if he uses one charge when he uses an impale, which is his right mouse button. It does more damage and then up to free or the more charge he has the more damage he does obviously um condemns playing it really well and stacking up those abilities which is just causing him to do some serious damage it's quite interesting with him as well is that with his space bar ability if you actually use the shift ability which i don't use on too many champions it does heal him for a certain amount which is um quite nice as well so we're going to see what happens here as the two red team have actually split up here. We're about 10 seconds away from mid coming up. Again, I really stress the importance of picking this up as it can just... The, uh... Getting that ultimate sooner is huge. Croak has dropped down a little bit here and it looks like the blue team are... I think the red team actually did pick that up there. Nice damage going down onto Croak, but with our ultimates already up to about 50% charge, it could be an issue. As once again, we do see split focus. Shifu going on to uh, Oldor, whilst Croak's kind of working on the bottom side there. His ultimate is up. This could be the big play we've been looking for. With middle coming up, this, they could actually take this for a big opportunity. They need to make something happen here as Croak dives in. And the red team do secure the orb this time, but Croak, unfortunately, his ultimate is still quite a way up from charging. Potentially used it on the bottom side there as he is getting dropped really low. This Shifu's damage is insane. He does actually miss his, miss times his country, but he's coming in with World of Wind. Sh nice ult by Older actually getting Croak out of the damage there, coming in and stunning him, but with the shields coming up from freaking Tail are very nice. GG, they do get the orb there. It's all going down at the moment as we're kind of split focus. 40 seconds until sudden death comes in. Croak is running pretty low here. With Oldor just not putting out the damage that we've seen in previous games. Lucy is really healing them up. Yeah, the camera, I'm going to try and actually um, see if we can mess around with it. The camera is kind of a bit. Uh, really not doing the job that we want it to do, is it? <laughs> The camera settings are pretty awkward, to be honest. Like the default ones just focus on older, which really does suck. I'm not moving. I'm not moving the camera. I'm not touching the camera. It's not me. It's not me, man. I'm not. I'm not moving the camera. Uh, we can go on free roam, but the free roam doesn't even like. It doesn't even freaking like. We can go like free roam like this, which is kind of like this. If it's just so. Uh, the camera, like the, the setting, like if I use W to go back, it goes up instead of freaking moving along. So, like the best one is kind of default, but that follows older around, to which we kind of see, and obviously older's chin on the backside, and yeah, the camera settings aren't really great, to be honest. So. <laughs> That's about what it is. Yeah, no, no, it's not me, man. Uh, I, I, yeah, the camera settings just the tracking on this game isn't really all that good at the moment. It's more than what it is, really. It's not me trolling me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like looking at it, I'm like, God, oh, what's going on the bottom side? I'm pretty sure Croak uses ultimate at some point, but we're just like sticking at Older, who Older just kind of chills in the background. Croak, we're like, where's Croak at right now, man? He's just doing his doing his own shenanigans. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I can't change champions either. That, that would that would be the solve issue if you could like have one, two, three, four, and you could just change characters, but um, early access, so we can hope. 
maybe we make a reddit post, get that, get that bummed up up there. So we're going to see some nice damage, I think the red team actually did pick up the orb here, but once again, Crowtown the pounding, it looks like he's actually, oh, was he really stunned now? I'm not, I'm not sure what happened there, he put the old question mark out, what does it mean? Is it real life? Oh, we do have a pause coming in. Um, Croak is AFK maybe? Potentially. Maybe? It looks like he's definitely AFK. I'm not really sure what's going on here. It looks like that's going to be a round loss for them. Uh, no, unfortunately it's not. Like I tried it earlier. I tried messing around with it and... Um, yeah, it just... No. <laughs> at least they, at least they have like, well, dizzy guy. You thought you were getting dizzy before. You're certainly getting dizzy now. <laughs> the older. <laughs> uh, so unfortunately, we did actually have a DC then. I think it would have made a massive difference if he wasn't DC'd, but that was how it went down. So um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure what actually happened then. But the <laughs> condemned, I, I'm just, yeah, I say 5,664. It's like almost like double my MMR. I have no more comments. <laughs> you were saying you were dizzy, bro. <laughs> Are you dizzy now, man? Are you dizzy, blood? Um, so, that will be a best of three. Again, this is the final, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final. Unfortunately, for Team, I think it was Team Longneck or Team Time. We need to make it away. He's not coming back. Oh, he's sad. We should we should step in his place. Get Mr. Big Russ in there to finish the final off. Um, he's not coming back. Rage Cut, ah, oh, Rage Cut, right on stream, this is what we're talking about. In the final, we have the Rage Cut. I love it. I love it, this is what we're talking about. <laughs> oh. Damn, son. <laughs> oh. I don't know what happens now, I guess was that, is that, yeah, that was, what an amazing final, we had a Rage Cut, the first one of the night. I love it. Um... Is that is it? We do have a best of three. Well, it's meant to be a best of three, but I'm not really sure what the uh, situation is. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. Well. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting that. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn, son. GG. I don't know what to say. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe he will come back in. Maybe, maybe his pride will get the best of him now that everyone on stream has actually seen him rage quit. But um, I'm not actually sure what, what was the moment that he actually made him rage quit. Unfortunately, we were kind of tracking Mr. Oldor, and like we didn't really get to see too much happening when we were with him. Five minutes then. Five minutes. Will he come back? Oh, he's back. He's back. He is back. Mr. Rage Quit himself, aka, aka just as Roy Quit, Rage Quit. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that something like that actually happened in the LCS. Um, I can remember. Some, I don't know if it actually happened in the game. I can remember someone went absolutely mental. Uh, I can't remember his name now. He used to play Twitch a lot. Um, I can remember. I don't know if he just stood up in game or something. I remember something happened and he just went like super rage freaking quit mode and. and uh, so it looks like we are going to be getting things back underway. Okay, Rage Quit Hive, he's back, guys. He is back. No problemo. Just toying with us, man. Just toying with us. It's all good. Okay, so we are a best of three. The blue team. I'm not sure if they are blue team anymore. Potentially. The red team, even they are the red team. I'm not sure they had red team before. The red team had the potential to turn this around right now. Mr. Rage quit himself. Oh, we're actually going to be focused on Condemn this time, which is quite nice. I'm not sure if there's a way that when we go into private settings, we focus on him. Condemn's probably the man we want to watch, the number one player. He seems to be the one throwing it out. So it's kind of nice that the camera is going to be focused onto him. So we'll see what happens. We're going to be actually having the same comps here, still sticking with the uh, Croak and Older against the Shifu. Croak coming in with some nice damage here, again a bit of a split focus, he put some damage down on the Shifu but starting to trade onto 
Lucy instead. We'll see how this goes. Mid orb is about to spawn. Shifu is running pretty low here. We'll see. The blue team do pick up the middle wall, which is huge, but Croak really, he's coming back, his rage quit, and he gets an ultimate already, that's a deadly win and run strike onto Shifu, but I don't think it's going to be enough, as he has picked his ultimate and starts pulling it into Oldor here. Um, I thought the red team were actually turning that around, I don't know where Croak saw his ultimate out there, and the Croak, that was a really nice start for him, Croak, Mr. Rage quit. <laughs> he put in some big damage there, picking up his ultimate, even though they actually did lose the um, middle orb. I will. I do need to play around with the settings. I will play around with the settings before the NA game. Um, I tried playing around with the second, but it kind of, it's kind of confused me. I when we when I well, I really need to have a look at. The problem is when I tried doing the freebie mode. When I was using it, I trying to use the left and right. It did nothing. But when I used W S and D, it just takes me up above the map instead of actually moving with them. It'd just be a cool for them to add a feature where we could actually follow an individual champion, but condemns the man, so we'll watch him. We got we got wise on him, which is cool. We get him. I can't move the mouse here. We just see the mouse kind of hovering. I don't know if that's his mouse. It's a bit of a shaky mouse. He starts putting some big damage down here. Middle Orb is coming up. We'll see who picks up. Blue team actually did secure it. And red team getting this time. This could be red's time as Lucy is actually petrified for a few seconds there. Croak switching her focus onto her. Leafing away. Going to be picking up both green orbs. Really nicely done. Coming out of his camouflage. Getting a big stun. Older is getting whittled down. Shifu putting some nice damage. Coming in with his javelin toss. And the problem is again that the red team are split here. Croak was on the top side. I'm not sure what he's actually doing there. And it's allowed Older to get taken under 50 percent health. And nice damage didn't come from Shifu. Mid orb is up, and it looks like the blue team are going to be taking this to round three. Yeah, in the middle orb once again. Green orbs are on the top side, but Shifu just again he is on point. He's making some nice use of his country and javelin toss combo. Easily picking up Croak. Maybe he should have stayed. <laughs> uh, A and D. Oh, maybe. Wow. Okay, you are you're right. Wow. GG. You you're right. I literally I no word of a lie. Wow. I, damn, son. I no word of a lie. I've literally spent about a week. I've 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 gone onto the replay system like three or four times and pressed every individual key, and nothing happened. So. Uh, wow, well, I don't know if I'm just I'm just pure retard, I guess. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. You are the true OG. Damn, son. True man. So that's actually pretty damn sweet. Wow, well, I was there and there complaining not having the video. Like I thought it was like such an easy thing to add in, and it was there the whole time. Damn, very nice. So. We're going to be seeing, it looks like, is Mr. Rage Quit? Is he Rage Quit again for the final round? We can now, we can actually watch him. We can watch Mr. Rage Quit himself. <laughs> really nice. He's going to be floating on the backside. We do have to remember the blue team do actually take this round. It is going to be GG. A nice uh, counter by Oldor then. It looks like we're going to be getting a mid middle coming up. The blue team, the red team do sneak this. There's some nice damage coming in from the Shifu here. Nice conjure Billy as the uh, they actually are working onto Lucy here. She is running quite low. They really need to follow this up a bit more. Order is counted away. We're gonna switch the camera, making good use of that. Lucy starting to heal up, and this is a problem here. They actually put some really nice damage onto Lucy then, but they're just kind of losing it. If they if they don't follow this up, I really feel that the enemy team are gonna struggle here. Shifu's able to pick up middle orb and proc his ultimate. Let's see what Lucy makes out of this. They are putting some big damage, and this is what we've been waiting for all game. It's just Croak starts hunting down on him as the two battle out on the bottom side. Croak is actually petrified at the moment. We'll see what they can make happen as Oldor gets on time with the Sands of Time, putting some nice damage down. Our barrier is able to soak up a little bit. Croak is a bit way off from his ultimate at the moment, but he is putting some nice damage down as Oldor and Shifu by on the top side. Can Croak finish her off? <laughs> He's lacking that final blow at the moment, making use of his double frog leave. It looks like could he actually be picking her off as Shifu is not really putting enough in at the moment as he is incapacitated. Oldor running low. Croak, can he finish her off? And she actually does pick up both health orbs there as he misses his leap. Middle orb is up. This is going to be a big seat. As Shifu is working on it, does actually, red team does actually pick this up. Oldor's ult is up at the moment. Can we see some 
turn of time here. This is what is going to be needed. As somehow Lucy is actually still alive. <laughs> still, she is still going. I do not know how she has not actually dropped at this point in time. As Shavu's trying to work on older, but he's not really putting the damage down. He's making some nice use of the counter abilities. A beautiful stun coming in by Croak. Really nicely done. And it looks like we might actually have a bit of a games on hand. Uh, I feel if Shifu does drop Croak here, though, they're going to be in a bit of a problem. Croak does pick up both of the green orbs, really nicely done. Shifu is running full stacks on him, but a great camouflage stun combo coming out there. It looks like we might actually see the red team poking their first round out of this best of three. Here we go. Shifu again. Ah, oh, a deadly combo there. Sudden death is kicking in. Who we will pick up this blue orb? I feel the red team actually secured that. I might be wrong. A nice Kundra ability, he is going to start working on Oldor, gets a really nice ultimate, a nice counter by Oldor, he's going to keep him away for a couple more seconds. These few seconds could be the difference in winning this game. Remember, if the blue team do win this, this is the final picked up for them, as he starts working it down onto Croak, both under 10% health at the moment, with blue orb up. Blue team does secure that again, making another use out of his Kundra. Croak does actually miss out of his stun, and that could be GG, I feel. Hence moments, the map is going to really start shrinking in right now. A nice leap as the red team Croak has actually turned that around. G, motherfucking G. Wow, very, very nicely done by Croak. I thought that Shifu timed his, um, yeah, sorry, I, I keep again. I, the fog, we turn it off and then it doesn't freaking stay off. My apologies. No, it is off. It is off. The old Frog of War is actually off. Um, we need to go on options. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, all right. Oh, well, yeah, we did fog of war, fog of war, fog of war. I believe it's off, unless I can't actually... Uh, I don't think there's any other options other than the actual options I have in the bottom right, which I've turned off. I don't think we can actually turn off fog of war anymore. It's just kind of that's how it is. I think potentially it's because where I'm looking at the champion, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's just how it is. I don't think there's any more way of um, switching it up. So. Once again, we're coming in. Red team are actually going to be trying to take this to the best of the three. We'll see what happens. Lucy's dropping really low. Croak finally putting some nice damage. It's finally what we've been waiting to see all game. Middle orbs about 10 seconds away as Croak starts working once again on Lucy. A nice petrifying to Shifu here, and she's under 50% health. I really feel the red team. Wow, big big damage coming in with the Sands of Time combo there and the camouflage done. GG, Shifu is actually uh, snared up in the top lane. Middle orb is coming up. I feel the blue team's going to secure that, which they do. Come on, Zoys. So we're talking about Croaks coming in. So you're going to wait. He's not going to actually make anything out of his camouflage ability, but he still has his double leaf, I feel. Really nice. One more leaf and we'll do it. He still has his leaf. A nice Petrify coming in by Lucy. He's going to delay things, but I feel that the red team might actually be taking this to us. Middle orb is up. Nice dash coming in by Croak. Again, I, I, how are Lucy's actually surviving through this at the moment, but Shifu getting a deadly ultimate onto Older is actually going to drop him under 30% health. And they're just the problem here, I feel, is that they're just not killing Lucy quick enough. They put some big damage on her when she actually dropped under 20% health. If they killed her there, I feel that this, this round would have been theirs, but they unfortunately just weren't able to finish it off as the two are now split. Older gets a nice ultimate, and they do pick her up. A GG. I Deal, Croak, maybe you got that? So we're going to be in a two-way on situation as Condemned, the number one in the world at the moment in time, is going to be battling out. We do remember if he wins this for his team, they are going to be crowned champions of our EU tournament. Big plays, nice damage, stun coming in by Croak. I'm liking the sudden death has entered, so the arena is going to be getting smaller here. Croak, I feel the red team once again maybe actually secured that orb there as he still hasn't picked up his ultimate just yet. A nice country but he is going to fly on the backside. The arena is getting smaller. His ultimate is up. We're going to have to watch out for that. A nice dash. Nice. Real good two dashes. Might be enough to actually bait them out. A good ultimate coming in by Oldor. Another good country ability by Shifu. Middle orb is up. That is taken by the red team. Oh, these, these, wow. Really well played. I take my hat off to the red team, they made some really nice counter abilities there. This is what we've been waiting to see all game. It's going to take us to 2 2. Really nicely played. GG. So if Croak and, if Croak and Older win this, it will take it to an additional game, but if the. Uh, Blue team do win this, we are going to see them picking up the championship of this tournament.
Croak coming in, camouflage, popping a bit too soon, then it was really going to make much happen there. We'll see if they can weigh out their abilities, would be the smart thing. Shifu has wasted his country, this could be the time to make some damage come in. Nice, nice trades, I'm liking it. Middle orb is about to spawn, this is going to be a big orb here to see who actually comes. Blue team do secure it this time. Oldor, once again, <laughs> I'm just amazed by how quickly he charges up his ultimate. He's just the auto attack king this game, really pounding them in there. Let's see what they can make happen. Nice panic away. Middle orb, we're going to see another one coming up in under about 3 seconds now. The blue team did secure the last one. Whoever gets this will be proccing their ultimates. It's knocked away onto the bottom side. We are seeing Croak go and ham. The problem is he split away from his team as older is in a bit of trouble now. This could be the time. I think the blue team actually did secure the orb here. We'll see what happens. It's Croak once again. You, uh, the reason what's nice with Croak is he's using his mobility really nice with either double leap and also his uh, charge to be constantly getting on top of um, Lucy, but at the moment it's just not proven enough. He really needs older to come combo women to get that sand of time to get that additional damage, but they have actually picked off middle orb. Could it be enough? Could this be going to another game? Croak put in some big damage. He's really making nice use out of his shift ability, which I like to see here. Does mean that his uh, when and wind isn't going to be charging up all the time, but it is allowing him to make some nice damage onto the bottom side of Lucy. Third middle orb of this game with 20 seconds remaining before we end a sudden death. It looks like Oldo is going to pick up this one. He is, indeed he has. Lucy is just healing through this. So the problem at the moment is they're putting some nice damage onto her, but they're just not able to follow her up at the moment. We're getting some really nice eclipse states onto Shifu, but the damage just isn't <laughs> being followed up. The Oreo took Older. Where is the app, bro? Again, really nice. I like what they're doing to Shifu. He's just unable to do anything in this game, but I just feel they're not putting enough damage down. <laughs> it is making for an interesting game, but the problem I feel is like Croak's playing it really nicely. We're using his shift ability to actually um, stun Shifu in place, but the problem is is that when they're going on to Lucy without Oldor there, they're just not putting the damage down, but we are in a sudden death, so things are going to be going tight right now. This is going to be down to it. We need The red team will take this to another game. The blue team win this round, and it is going to be GG for the final. Once again, really nice play. And we can see a nice knockback. Could be the difference. A nice ultimate. Did actually save his allies. Life there, as he was getting panicked out of the way out to the outside of the map. Really nice damage. Coming down onto Lucy here. Could this be it? A really well played. That was a nicely timed Dash, oh, GG, this could be it. The Shifu has actually picked up middle orb, but he's still about 20% away from fully charged result. Are we going to be seeing another game here, boys, to make this for the best of three? Nicely played, he is putting a big ultimate down as the map is closing in. Nice petrified coming in, this is going to be a lot of course, some big damage to he uses his country ability. I think this is going to be GG for the red team. Damn, I couldn't even catch a breath there. That was, uh, that well, I <laughs> I take my hat off to the red team. Mr. Rage quit has come back and he's starting to prove himself, starting to prove his worth right now. Really nice. I think this guy rage quit a second ago. <laughs> um, wow, well, GG, Mr. Older again, putting it out there. Uh, it was really nicely played by Croak, he really made great use of his uh, leaf ability as a combo with his camouflage, and I was actually going to take us to one more game before we decide who actually takes this final. Nicely done. Oh, disconnected. Server was no server active. That's always good. Sweet. One and one game, so yeah, this is a best of three, so this is going to be the last game. Whoever wins this match right now will be the tournament winners for the EU, and then we are going to have the NA tournament, which is going to be about 12 o'clock. Uh, so I will probably jump on some league, I imagine, uh, before 12, so... And then I'm not sure what the situation with the NA is. I'll have a word with the guys and we'll take it from there. But yeah, midnight should be the NA tournament. Here we go then. Are we going to see the same teams? Double Lucy, OP. They're really sticking with the Shifu and Lucy comp. I really take my hat off the red, the, the red team. It was really nicely done. I, I felt after the first time where they got absolutely crushed. They've um, they really turned it around at the end. Let's see what we can bring out then. The fact I, the fact that it feels so good to see Mr. Rage quit win as well. The fact that he ra the fact that he rage quit and then he actually come back and then if he wins the tournament that would be glorious. So, same comps once again. 
Shifu and Lucy are going to be lining up against a deadly Croconold, or... Um, what I will do, I will, yeah, I've kind of got hang of, like, uh, I think we can actually do the Fog of War stuff. I will try my best to actually keep on top of, um, going through all the different champions. I, I like I said, I only just, just realised I could do this, so we'll try, I try my best to keep on top of things. So as you see, Middle Orbit is going to be spawning up in about 3 seconds here. Croak has actually got the main positional advantage to do this. He puts some nice damage down, but dropping under 50% health in the process as Oldor's not to follow up. They will they blue team do pick this up. I think this is going to be blue team's round as she gets a double petrify here. Really nicely done. Shifu's ultimate's pretty much fully charged. Croak is putting some damage down on the bottom side, but from his earlier trade, he's just not doing too well on health as Shifu is putting some big damage down on Older and really making light work. I feel that the problem here was that the red team just took an unfavorable trade at the start there. They went in and it just didn't work. If they get that deadly combo of Sands of Time, then um, it, it could be really strong. But I, I feel that Croak, like the problem is Croak jumped in and like he can do the damage, but like Older's not. I feel I feel the way I'm looking at it is that when Older's with him and they they get like that combo, the Sand of Time combo, they do some deadly damage. But Shifu pushes Older out the way and Croak's going in and it's just not happening. So. Um, this is gonna, we gotta remember this is the last round guys, so there is no more, whatever happens, we are gonna have a winner right here. Be interested to see what they put out, be interested to see if they're gonna switch up the tactics, do they still, still go Rambi for Lucy? I feel going for Lucy over Shifu is definitely the right way, the thing is what they have to be doing is securing that middle orb is huge. So that he can get more charges up to actually get that long lasting stun on Shifu. And we'll see how it goes here. The camouflage is a bit too soon. So, with his camouflage down, this is a great time for the blue team to actually try to whip him down. They do get some nice damage down onto Lucy here. But with Oldor a little bit split, they are kind of, kind of pounding on down. The uh, green orb is about to be spawned in the mid lane right here. Nice damage coming onto Lucy. She, I feel she, the heal she's putting down is pretty damn strong. Shifu's working it down. The blue team have actually secured middle orb here, which has allowed them to get their ultimates as he starts working down. And it looks like they're going to be taking this round pretty easy again as Older has dropped under 20% health right here. Croak is still working on Lucy, but this is what I'm talking about. Without, without Older there, I feel that Croak just isn't able to do enough to her, unfortunately. They had a nice kind of combo working, but uh, I'm just not really seeing the synergy here at the moment. Shifu, I guess, maybe is being more aggressive than last time, and it's working out quite nicely, but they do actually have their ultimates, as we see Croak being thrown into Lucy, but Shifu's working big damage down onto Older, using his jab to toss, middle all is down at the moment, as we see them two battling out. It looks like Oldor is going to be getting dropped by Shifu, as Croak just isn't able to put down the same amount of damage that old Shifu's putting at the moment, as you can see. I feel Shifu's just chugging out so much more damage than what Croak is, and this is the biggest problem they're having at the moment. Without the two combo together, I feel they just need to go super ham onto Lucy, otherwise it's just not going to work. But really, this is the combo you need here, but I feel at this point it's too late. They lost mid, so they don't have their ultimates, and I think that's what's cost them. And they are going to lose this, so it looks like uh, Blue Team, they take this last round and they will be crowned our winners of the EU Tournament. What do we see? Incoming. Dummies, look at them. I think they're bad men, just chilling there. They want some. So, here we go. The red team strategy isn't working as well as it was last round. We'll see what happens. I feel that again, Croak pops his stealth too soon as what we saw beforehand. As he comes in now, he really needs to be following in with his stealth here because at the moment he still hasn't used his stealth ability, which has caused, you know, without that stealth ability, he doesn't get that stun. And you can see here he's actually done no damage to the uh, Lucy, whilst Older's dropped under, a, lost about 30% health. And this is the big da this is the big difference here. Look at Croak already; he's under 50% health. He just never initiated with his camouflage. I think just as we left him, he actually decided to pop it, losing that stun is deadly and it looks like with the blue team picking up middle orb they're going to be able to easily secure this third round here. Just the, the big difference is if we're out landing those combos, or not even using those combos, they've really struggled here. It's old or getting pounded in, he does make a nice counter ability here but with only 10% health I don't think he's really going to be able to have much going for him as Croak is working on the bottom side but not going to be enough. I think it's all a bit of desperation now. The blue team look to be secure. They do secure the middle orb really nicely done. 
Shifu is petrified as Croak starts working down onto Lucy, but I feel with that amount of help, Lucy could easily sew them anyway. As Ordor starts working on the bottom side, gets a nice counter play. Shifu working it in. He does use his counter strike to get onto the top side of the mouth. Delaying matters, I feel here. He is working on low. This could be it. We've been petrified. This could be enough. A nice petrify onto Croak himself. I feel that we're going to be staring defeat in the eyes as Blue Team look to secure middle, which they have. Very nicely done. Croak learning only on 10% health now. It's only a matter of time. Nice ultimate is going to save him, but will it be enough? He starts swimming down. Again, this is what. Oh, very nice. This could be it. The poison coming in. Lucy, we should be able to heal him up. Is he going to go for it? He's going in. He's gone ham. The problem is, Older's not to pull him up. He is able to use his double lead to actually get out of trouble here. Using his stun to get on her, but a very nice, timely panic actually keeps her alive there. If he actually landed his stun, then I think that would have been a death on the Shifu in the 2v1. Problem now, the longer this goes on, she's just healing up and she's <laughs> staying alive. It's causing a bit of an issue as we have now and she entered sudden death with a big spike through and that is G motherfucking G. He just he can't man. He can't. So our winners for today are condemned and I missed who the actual other name was. My apologies. Oh, uh, condemned Marion. Wasn't sure if that was actually uh, one of the other team then. GG a great final. Uh, the, the blue team really kind of you know, smashed them in the first round, but nicely done by the red team. Their strategy was kind of on point. I feel the blue team kind of had it sus. Croak was gone. He was trying his goddamn hardest to uh, whittle her down, but he just couldn't. Shifu was just putting out so much damage. I think a lot come, you know, the first two rounds we saw him go try to actually um, go into the stealth. And he didn't do anything, you know, he, he, he stealthed too soon, so he messed his ability up there, and then the last time, he didn't even use his stealth, and you know, his stealth is where he gets that stun, and he's allowed to get that burst, and I feel that what we need to see is that he needs to go and stun, and Older follows up, gets his hand of time, and just go boom, because this whole split thing, Shifu was just doing so much more damage. But a nice um, tournament, really nice, I hope you bosses enjoyed.